Okay. Hopefully. There we go. Okay. We're good. Round two. There we go. We are back. Okay. Now the latency is much better. So it's not like a, a crazy delay because before the delay was pretty significant. I was just like, oh dear me, this delay is bad. Now the delay is much better. It didn't read direct right by me. Okay, good. I'm sorry, but we're good now. We're back. We're so back, boys and ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so yeah, the chances of spiral tonight, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Here, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm walking in. Uh, I'm walking in with, with no expectations. That's it. Not today. I'm not walking in with expectations. I'm not walking in there being like, oh, absolutely, it, it's not going to be there. Or absolutely, it, it is going to be there. I'm walking in with no expectations. If Spyro is there, I will be over the moon. If he is not there, that is okay. That is fine. It sucks, but I'm not going to sit here and be screaming and yelling. Oh, I was a bit low like before. Okay. Well, I'm going to turn myself up again. There. How about that? Is that better? Are we, are we good now? Are we good? Am I nice and loud? Nice and crisp? Which mob is going to be there tonight? Gonzo! They actually already confirmed it. <laughs> Gonzo's going to be there. Hey! Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. I can't wait. Mojo Jojo. I think I got the X. Donate $20 through Super Chat. That is so sweet of you. Thank you. I know it's not much, but I wanted to give you a gift for the holidays. Don't say that's much. That's a great amount. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love and support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You are awesome. 10 out of 10. 20 out of 20. As you donated. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Um, so last week there was evident a lot more evidence going in. Um, going in. And listen, here is my uh forget Spyro. It's also about the other secret tiles we weren't expecting. That's true. There are other titles that we might that we might be like be wondering. Hey, I wonder if that's coming in. And uh, ooh, oh my gosh, <laughs> Cocky just gifted five memberships. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five memberships to the chat. It's Septic Duzzle, just Chris Carter, Yakip, uh, Sahin, and Blue Knight. Thank you so much for uh, be becoming members. You can now use a bunch of emojis, and you're supporting the channel. Thank you so much. Um, Gabriel Curry, will we get a counter for shooter control? Actually, I do need to get my, uh, I do need to get my, my big notepad paper, which I always grab and write I things feel fired down up, Bob. and feel fired up. Where's my notepad of notiness? Where I feel fired up, Bob. We're going we're gonna to hear that three more times. So get used to it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, actually, four more because uh, Gabriel Curry as well. I feel um, fired up, Bob. Where, where, where did you? Where's my notepad I of feel notes? Fired up, Bob. Did my wife? Did, did she take it upstairs? I feel fired up. Hey, Flurna donated 10 pounds to Super Chest. Thank you so much. Nothing quite playing a new Sims pack and watching your streams before a horror up, of a weekend coming. Hope you and the fam are all good. Also, Gonzo's the Muppet. <laughs> Everyone duck for the chickens. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Yes, Gonzo. They're bringing Gonzo. And I was just like, oh, dope. Gonzo. They're bringing Gonzo. We love Gonzo. Thank you so much, Flurna, for the 10 pounds Super Chat. You are awesome. You were amazing. Thank you so much. And yes, we got to have the shooty, shooty, bang, bang, uh, counter though. I will give, I will give credit where it's due. 
Um... Uh, Jeff Keighley at the Summer Game Awards last year did really, 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 really well with the shooty shooty bang bangs. They were not bad. Okay, I gotta find... I have to find my notepad of notiness. Notepad. Where is the notepad? This... This insufferable small notepad will have to do. Look at this. It's a, it's, a, it's a small notepad. It's not as big as my big notepad of notiness. I require a coffee. I wish I could get a coffee because I love coffee. It's too late. It's 7-Eleven and I've had two cups already today. I hope you can't hear Jonathan screaming. Can you guys hear this? Can you guys hear Jonathan screaming? Uh-oh. He's, he, he's mad because he has to go to bed. If you guys can hear him screaming, I'd have to turn it down then. Yes, my handy dandy notebook. We can hear, oh gosh. Hopefully he, hopefully he settles down. Charles is like, I don't want to go to bed. <laughs> it's like, well, <laughs> too bad. In fact, this is the perfect time to go to bed. Shh. <laughs> talking. Ah, yes. Talking. I know what you mean by the air quotes of talking. <laughs> it's not that level. That's good. I appreciate that, just Chris. Thank you. So, besides Spyro 4 or anything along the lines of that, what else should we be looking forward to? Let's... What did you do to him? What? What? You sound like somebody farted in your general direction. And you were grossly offended. And I didn't give him all the water that he needed forever and ever. How dare you? Yeah. Oh. He's in such a ripe mood. Oh, I see. He is. He is a wonderful ripe tomato. Hi. Are you a ripe tomato today? Guys, listen. Are we you ate, okay? Like, four cups of sparkles and okay. glitter. Okay. And we just came to go fill up Daddy's water too. Okay. Well, I. Don't worry. You want to give him? Want to give him one, Daddy? Mwah. Yeah. That's there good. we go. There we go. A little, a little smile. A little smiley. I see mom being mom is going, uh, going, it's, it's going, it's going. What? She said, uh, by the way, did you steal my notepad of notiness? Listen, there was Christmas things on it. You cannot have You stole my notepad of notiness. There is Christmas things on there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez. Are you, you wanted the water? Okay. Okay. Thank you. He was mad because he wanted water. He's like, how dare you take daddy's water before I sip it. <laughs> you intrepid fools. <laughs> he had pizza. So I think he's really thirsty. Are you okay? <laughs> dead staring at me. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Those are almost words. Good job.
Is it the pen that you're looking at? Yeah, <laughs> now he's smiling. Alright, I feel other kids are coming down. <laughs> Enjoy your It's fine. Just just I won't think about <laughs> just it. Don't I'm not think gonna think about, about what the floaty it. is. Just pray the floaty is food. That's it. Okay. Alright. I hit steps. Love you. Alright, love you too. Good night. Mwah. Mwah. To prove I'm not your mother. <laughs> So, all right. So there are a number of games that are definitely shoe wins, but the argument, the argument is going to be the argument is going to be about game of the year because there is like five. There's like five games that all could win game of the year. I'm putting my uh, I I haven't even played it yet, but I'm putting my chips on Baldur's Gate 3. That that's what I'm putting my chips on. Followed by Zelda. I Zelda up, Bob. or Kalki has been a member for 42 months. Thank you. Whether or not we get anything Spar related tonight, I'm just gonna hope we get have ourselves a good show. That's all I'm really hoping for. Also, 42 month milestone. Let's go! Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Conky. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, and that's what I'm looking forward to. I just want a good show. I like a good show. I like watching a good show. I am not uh, big on shows where it's just like, hoo, ha, shitty, shitty, bang, bang, shitty, shitty, bang, bang, ha, ha, ha. It's like, oh, oh, gosh, kill me. Less shitty, shitty, bang, bangs. And also... Keeley already said, which I'm super stoked for, which I hope he holds to, he said that they are going to be spacing out the news and the information better this show. That's what he tweeted out. And I'm like, yes, that has been the number one issue that I've always, always had was the pacing of the shows was just like, here we go. And... Boom, 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 all these things. It's like, oh my gosh, the first hour, this is the greatest game show ever. And then halfway through, it's like flatlined, drier than pencil shavings, and everyone starts to complain like, oh, this is awful. And then the last third is a coin flip. It's either, oh my gosh, we're so back, or up, it's, Bob. oh my gosh, this is terrible. So it's one or the other. So it's one or the other. So... I am hoping that we get a better pay show where it's just like, okay, big announcement, start small, start building, and I grow and grow and grow. Up, grow. Uh, okay, a whole bunch of messages coming in. Diggs Report donated $5 for Super Chat. Thank you so much, Diggs Report. Um, if Insomniac doesn't win a game award tonight, I will scream so loud. I think they should win for best actor, best acting, because so far they're, uh, they're, uh, Yuri. I think it's Yuri that's nominated. Um, he did fantastic as Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man was really good this year. Um, fantastic. Loved it. Uh, Tiamat Dragon has been a member for 23 months. One more month before the two-year anniversary. Getting fired up about another month of support for CG. Aw, thank you. I'm feeling fired up too. Florida has been a member for 46 months. Hope for tonight. Mario movie winning... Uh, winning to getting close for the best adaption of the year and maybe a Jack Black stage performance for Peaches for lols. Please. 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 We got... We need it. We need it. I would love to hear CJ... And not just like... I, 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 I need to see him dressed up too. Peach. So, all right. There was a meme that Charles e sent to me earlier that I was meaning to share. I didn't get a chance to share it, but here it is now. I'm going to share it now. Here it is. Here is the meme that was shared earlier. Let's go. For 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 a good laugh. Trouble with the trolley, eh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every Spyro fan cringes and just cringes and cringe. Thank you, Charles, for sending that. 
when will the show start? Show start will be in 10 minutes. 10 minutes it will start. And then I think it's uh and then it's a half an hour pre-show, I guess, where they're giving out awards and showing previews. And then they then they start the real show. Um You see, the reason why my money is on Baldur's Gate 3 is simply simply at uh, at the fact that Baldur's Gate 3 came out and I remember there was such a um I don't want to say backlash but there was such a big thing where people were like oh my gosh um this game is way too good this game is way too polished it's way too excellent it's way too and so already I think GameSpot or Game GameSpot already or IGN already gave Baldur's Gate their game of the year You have must. I do have a mustache. I've had a mustache for a while. <laughs> I've had a mustache for, uh, what? Chat two years. A curly stash for two years now. How long is the game rewards going to be last? So, around three hours, I think. Since COVID, yeah, but it, we didn't get to the full like curly stash for a while. Like, like I know it was in twenty twenty, but you know it took some time. It had to evolve. It had to grow. Hopefully, you're feeling better. I am feeling better. Thank you. It's very weird to look back at pictures of myself without the uh, without the stash. Um. Why did you decide to get a curly stash? Well, for two reasons. One, I wanted to be different. And two, I was trying to grow a beard during the pandemic. I wanted to see if I could grow a beard. And it turns out I grow here well, I grow here well, and I grow here well, but I am bald as a baby's bum r r like this. So the thing that... It, the thing that makes it all go together, the, the, it's like, imagine a beard here, a beard here, and a, a mustache, and it doesn't come together. And it will not come together. And it drove me nuts. So I started to shave off parts of it because it was not working. And then finally, I left the mustache. And uh, years ago, my grandfather rocked a mustache, rocked a mustache. And my father, when he was in his teens, when he was in his uh, late teens, early 20s, rocked a mustache as well. So I thought, you know what? You know what? Let me try. Let me try the. Let me try the mustache. And uh, I left it. I left it. I left it. And I l let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. And finally, I was like, you know what? Let's try the, the, the handlebar. And the rest is history. And I now have the handlebar mustache. <laughs> when any award, it, I, it unfortunately, Crash Team Run wasn't nominated for anything, so. Mustache definitely suits you. You see, that's the thing is that I, I never would have thought when I was younger, I never would have thought a mustache. Okay, Bandicoot sauce. That's fine. You can do as you wish. You don't. There is no one that's telling you you have to watch, right? There's no, nobody. No one telling you that you have to watch. Not even for Crash or Spyro. Just watch. Are you comfortable with the mustache? I am now, yes. Year, when I first started, I was not... Um, I was not feeling great. Um, <laughs> Spyro 4 when? I know I'm not the first and last to ask tonight. Definitely... 
definitely, I definitely, um, I don't think we're going to get any news tonight officially. I'll say this. If we get news tonight, if we get news tonight, it will not be anything visual. If we get news tonight, it will be by via, um, there, if they have, what's his face, Phil Spencer come out and he says, we have, you know, uh, we're so excited to show you what Xbox has in store, especially after the Activision acquisition. In fact, let us share some, some titles that we're going to be developing over the next couple of years or whatnot. And then they verbally say, we're going to be releasing a new title for Spyro. We're going to be doing this. We're going to be doing, if it's going to be coming tonight, that is how I think it will come. I think, but We'll see. Thank you so much, though, for the $5. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, also, when the actual event starts, uh, we will be... Uh, speaking of, it should be like the the countdown. Page unresponsive. Ah, that might be the, the problem. Aw, oh, snap. Uh, the game was uh, you know what if there's gonna be ads on this you know what you know what I have YouTube premium so you know what let's go watch this on YouTube on YouTube so that we don't get nailed with the endless amount of ads does that sound good that sounds good to me let's go with that I'll take the slight delay over uh the obnoxious amount of ads that um, we'll get over on Twitch. So let's, I'll take that. Cause I have the YouTube premium three minutes left until the pre-show begins. Oh, there it is. All right, let me get all set up here. All right, so I'm also going to be turning out the donation alerts. Donations will still come through. However, um, it because could you imagine? We're like, here we go. Here comes an intense moment. <laughs> we don't want that. It is time. So it's just uh, just the the sound. That's all. We we'll just turn off the sounds. That's all. The donations will still go through, and I will still read them. Just won't be, you know. Okay. I think in general we're good to go. I think in general we're good to go. Now it's time to sound balance because this is not going to be a pain in the butt. Thank you. I appreciate the the compliments on the imprint on the Funko wall. Okay, so. I'll turn this down a smidge. There we go. So, all right. So, so far, how's the audio balance? As always, there's going to be problems right when we start. We're going to be sound balancing, getting it, you know, ready. So, but how does it sound so far? Oh, and I better go to Twitter and let everyone know that we are live. With... Hashtag the game. I will say this. There is one thing that I am expecting and I want. I want them to show. I want them to reveal and show arcane I want to see 
an arcane trailer. I will explode. I will explode if they show an arcane trailer. I will be so happy if they show an arcane trailer. I want to see an arcane trailer. Okay? Because they already released like a, like a 15 second teaser. And I'm like, no, nah, no. Nah. Oh, gosh. We went from epic to like trap. Oh, hi, it's me, oh, hi. Sydney Goodman, here to greet you all at, at what I consider to be my favorite holiday of the season, the 2023 Game Awards. And just like New Year's Eve, our Game Awards opening act is as full of excitement and celebration as the big event. Tonight, the Game Awards will celebrate the best in gaming from the past year, and we've got more than a dozen new game announcements. Plus, the old gods of Asgard are here from Alan Wake 2. They take the stage. Cool. For the first time ever, it is truly magical here, live at the Peacock Theater for gaming's biggest night. Magical. We are streaming around the world, connecting millions of gamers and fans and getting you all stoked for our big show. But before that, it's time to get cozy with our very first world premiere of the night. Yes, let's hear it. It comes from a creator who has already claimed game of the year in the past here at TGA. But this time, we're going back to the title that started it all for him a decade ago. Here is the first ever look at a beautiful remake of Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, originally created by director Joseph Ferris. Well, this was already leaked. Ray Joe donated $2 to the What's up? How's it going, Ray Joe? So I never played this game. Volume balance, by the way. Oh. <laughs> Here we go, that's better. The Tale of Two Sons remake. Incredible, and how perfect that right after the world premiere of Brothers, we have the award for best family game. These are the games that bring families together, or oh, this is gonna go to apart, Mario. depending on how dirty you play. This is gonna and go to Mario. And the nominees are Disney Illusion Island, Party Animals, Pikmin 4, Sonic Superstars, and Super Mario Brothers Wonder. And the game award goes to Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Whoa! Who would have guessed? Thank you so much for this award. This is shared with all the teams at Nintendo that worked on Super Mario Brothers Wonder. <laughs> In my experience, the team really tried to develop a game that allowed people to work together, to play together, whether it was friends or it was family. Mario Bros. And for me, my personal experience is, nothing brings a family together more than trying to rescue an, an empire, a, a kingdom in distress from the evil likes of Bowser. Like you? Whether you're playing, whether you're playing as Elephant Mario, um, Peach, Yoshi, or Nabbit, this game goes to everyone that created such a wonderful experience. Thank you. I, only got that I wish I had that in your card. Congratulations, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. And now I have a little treat for all of you. Three world premieres in a row. What? <laughs> First up is the next game from Daniel Mullins, the creator of the TGA-nominated independent game, Inscription. Oh. Is that a USB stick? 
a runic B USB stick or are my eyes just that bad? Oh, hello. Netflix. But yeah, that was that was a game, I guess. And that was Keith. Kingdom Hearts kind of gameplay almost. It's so weird to be seeing the words 2025. I love this. Reminds me of my high school days, but the monsters I fought weren't nearly as big as that. You kids these days with your giant monsters and your social media. And speaking of social media, TikTok Live Fest is happening now across 50 plus countries on TikTok. Check out the participating gaming creators and don't forget to share all of your favorite gaming moments on TikTok with hashtag gaming on TikTok. Okay, we're going to take a quick break, but there is plenty more opening act after a very important message. Don't skip this cutscene, people. The journey ended here, a place of wonder and awe. We breached the cosmic veil and reached a new planet. Okay. Yet generations later, this world remains untamed. Our reunion was foretold, our paths destined to cross. I'm here for you now, Administrator. This one looks not bad. Why 
Why so many enemies? I mean, isn't this the first one? Chosen one. The matchless kung fu. Interesting. The rogue trader has fallen. Now I must take up their mantle to restore the dynasty to its former glory. Warhammer? To reclaim what humanity has lost. To venture forth into darkness and bring the light of the emperor to the uncharted void. The Warhammer. Warhammer tactics game. Dangerous heretics, vile mutants, and Xenos Hey, Kalki! Donate six dollars and ten cents to Streamlabs. Don't mind me, I'm just here to even out the bar. Wow, well, thank you, I appreciate that. I make We're at 3 30, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And with each haunted Cyber step, Fox! Wonder, How's it going? Where will my nice to see you again, end? and thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that, Cyber Fox. Before, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being an awesome supporter. And again, I remember the support you gave uh, Wait, for the other stream Connor, as well. We? Thank you. Good thing for you that I am here, then. Uh, Today, you are to see a traitor to the crowd. Hanged by the neck. For his crime, the penalty is death. I'm in search of a treasure. Okay. Where do I start? Day on the canals with my good friend Itzio. What Wait. could be better? Flatter me as always, Antonio. Wait. In the end, the Templars will succeed. Wait, Ed? Wait. Is this an Assassin's... Assassin's Creed? VR? Excuse me? Assassin's Creed Nexus. Okay, that's cool. Welcome back to the 2023 Game Awards opening act. I'm still hey, Cindy thank Goodman, you so much, Cyberfox, here for with another five award. Thank this you. This time for thank innovation so much. and accessibility. The gaming community is that massive, is awesome. but thank honestly, you so much. it should be even bigger. And these nominees are pushing gaming beyond its current limits. Their teams have created software and hardware that make it possible for people of all abilities to experience Thank the you, medium Sarah of gaming. Fox, that was so sweet With of you. accessible Thank you. features and technology that get us all one step closer to a seamless play for everyone. These nominees are doing the work, and they are. Diablo 4, Forza Motorsport, Hi-Fi Rush, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Mortal Kombat 1, and Street Fighter 6. Either Street Fighter or Spider Man. And the game award goes to Forza Motorsport. Okay, did not expect Forza. Thank you so much uh, for this. Um, since this category was introduced several years ago, I think we've seen a dramatic shift in the whole industry towards making did games not think more that. and more accessible. And with this list of amazing nominees, it just really drives that home. Um, at this point, I, I think we've made the most successful racing game ever playable by people across the mobility and vision spectrum, including totally blind players. But really, the real winners here are the players who have so many great games to play. This just dropped it. None of this would have been possible without the amazing teams behind the scenes. Big thank you to our audio team for their tireless effort, championing for accessibility, and making this game the best that it can be. 
big thank you to the UI team, to our studio leadership team, and our accessibility leadership team. And last but last least, Brandon Cole for being our uh, accessibility consultant and partner for the last two years. We're really proud of the work that we've been able to do, so thank you very much. Oh, they went to play the music on her. Ooh, ooh, they went to play the music on her. Congratulations, Forza Motorsport. Here at the Game Awards, we believe strongly in accessibility and want to celebrate any game that makes it a priority. And our next developer, The Odd Gentleman, believe that by making their games and their company accessible and inclusive, they can develop new types of gameplay with stories that everyone can enjoy. They created the following game in a deep collaboration with artists and developers from the deaf community. And we are very excited to reveal it now. This is Harmonium the Musical. Harmonium. When this game comes out, it better win Best Accessibility. Nice, I like that. Honestly, I don't know how much better gaming can get. What happens past a golden age? Platinum? Is this the platinum age of gaming? Also, can I please be paid in platinum? I'd like it direct deposited, please. And now I have the honor of announcing the winners for our five esports categories. The nominees oh for best esports athlete are Faker, Zaiwu, Demon One, Hydra. Ruler and Imperial How. And the Faker. game award goes to Faker. Who called it? For best esports coach, the nominees are uh, Potter, Zonic, Gunba, Ecstasy, and Ext Homie. And the game Let's award throw goes it to, to Potter. Okay. <laughs> For best esports event, here are the nominees. It's going to be me because it's always League me. Of Legends World Championship. Blast TV Paris Major 2023. It's going to be League because it's always me. The International Dota 2 Championships 2023. And Valorant Champions 2023. And the game award goes to... 2023 League of Legends Who World called it? For best esports game, the nominees are... Counter-Strike 2, Dota 2, League of Legends, PUBG Mobile, and Valorant. League of Legends. I and don't the game know. award goes to Valorant. It's still Riot. And finally, the nominees for best esports team are Evil Geniuses, Fnatic, Gaming Gladiators, Fnatic. JD Gaming, and Team Vitality. And the game award goes to JD Gaming. Okay. <laughs> huge congratulations, everyone. I love esports. I'm a huge esports fan, just like my father and his father before him. We Goodmans are a huge esports family, dating all the way back to the mid 1800s. But before you can think too hard on that, it's time for another two world premieres. First up is the latest game from a team that won at the Game Awards back in 2017. So I think we can trust them to crush it again. This is Windblown. Windblown. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we have weapons! Oh gosh. Okay. I was about to say, oh gosh. Okay, this looks cool. Actually, legit, this looks cool. It does look cool, though. What is this? What am I watching? <laughs> I'm good. Personally, yes, I'm good. Yes, Crasher, in case you didn't know, is from the same artist slash composer that blew our minds back in 2016 with the cult hit Thumper. I'm so excited we've got another mind-bending game coming from him in 2024. Special shout out to Samsung and Samsung Gaming Hub, who, not to brag, are also throwing a massive Game Awards viewing party over at Samsung's New York City flagship location with Typical Gamer and Chica. I wish I could be at two places at once, but the last time I tried to clone myself, I sparked a pretty sizable fire in the MIT Experimental Physics Lab. Oops, but we can talk about that later. Let's check out what Samsung is coming out with now. You guys know about Game Pass? <laughs> Is it another gaming school service? You win. So Stadia. What? Atlas? Good morning. Is Persona? Let's begin. Sewing is my life. Last one. Go for it. Now that's what I'm talking about. Moonwalk. Persona 3, okay. Next stop is I only played Persona 5. Is this a, a remake? That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? Persona. Next. Come on! Why do you try to fight when you know it's hopeless? In fact, I don't even really have a good reason to live. Oh, geez, all right. For me, or you, or anyone, just simply existing gives our lives meaning. 
Soon, the end will come. We are not giving up, no matter how long it takes. To me, this is what it means to live. Persona 3 Reload. Persona, a new Persona game that is. I still want to be Sydney. But enough about me. Make sure to stay <laughs> tuned as Google and the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 are bringing you a spectacular celebration of mobile gaming. It's going to be an epic event just like this next world premiere. It's the this product of a surprise Stadia. team up between Stadia. two nominated games tonight. Let's check it out. Dave the Diver? Jeez! I thought this was like a... I thought this was supposed to be like a go fishing, make sushi. What is going on? big show. The theater is filling up behind me. It's hard to hear myself think over all the excitement, but I have to keep it together because I have the next award ready to go. You're out of focus. Here are your nominees for content creator of the year. Iron Mouse, People Make Games, Quackity, Spring, and Cypher PK. Don't know any of these And people. the game Maybe award Quackity? goes to Iron Mouse. <laughs> So, Iron Mouse couldn't be here tonight because Iron Mouse is animated, and sadly, we're not in the Matrix yet. But she did send us a message. Take it away, Iron Mouse. I am so incredibly honored to have been the recipient of the Content Creator of the Year Award. First and foremost, I want to express my deepest heartfelt gratitude it's a VR to the tuber. community that has gathered around my streams. And I also want to extend a very special thanks to Vishojo, who brings all my ideas to life. Thank you so much to my team that helps me every single day. And thank you so much to the Game Awards. I still can't believe this is all happening. Thank you again, everybody. Congratulations, Iron Mouse. Okay, we're getting so close okay. to the big show, but I'm not ready to let go just yet. And no, I'm not a narcissist. I'm just a hoarder, a hoarder of world premieres. And up next <laughs> is a very special world premiere, 15 years in the making. What a beautiful world. <laughs> Too bad they never made another one. That, uh, that, uh, Poyo, not Poyo, what was it called? Uh, Loco Roco? I don't think so. I see the name, I'm gonna be like, oh, World of Goo. Okay. Fifteen years. 
Final sound check. Is everything okay? Does everything sound all right? Man, so that is satisfying to watch. Almost as satisfying as the Game Awards show that's minutes away. We have one more huge world premiere, a brand new fantasy RPG from the creators of Persona 3, 4, and 5. And tonight they're giving us a glimpse into the story, characters, and gameplay. Let's do this. All right. It's a, all right. It's a story about a world very different from ours. It is a world where all people are equal and no conflict exists, much like the world His Highness once dreamt of. To put it another way, this is a fantasy. <laughs> oh, just the way it was said. The fool of a king is dead. Without an heir to wear the crown, what will become of the royal magic? The fortress at the border was raised by a human mere days ago. You can only blame your king's weakness. Who deserves his crown? A man of proven strength! The people of my land desire a new king, and I shall provide. Welcome one and all to the inauguration of the tournament for the throne! Small wonder when any among the populace might be king. The speeches of tribal harmony mean nothing when every day they cheat and abuse us. It tells of a world united as one tribe. If only our lives were anything like the world in your novel. Our lives are decided at birth by tribal purity, followed by the differences that make us who we are. There was a plot in his life. Oh, and I wish I'd written them sooner. You're no ray of hope. You gave up on your hopes. But I will not. Now let's see what manner of story I'll weave. Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me. Metaphor. Okay, my friends, that right. is it for our opening act, but we are very far from done. Is our big show is about to begin, life? but don't worry, this <laughs> isn't the last you'll see of me. I'm staying all night, baby. And I cannot wait because this show is absolutely stacked. We have tons of big awards, even more world premieres of brand new games, all and right. an incredibly special guest, Pre a legendary actor and performer of both the stage and screen, the Muppet himself, the great Gonzo. I see? have to admit, Gonzo. I'm freaking out. I'm completely starstruck. And get this, the cast of the show, based on the Fallout franchise, is here to debut an exclusive new look at the series. The vault is opening in a huge way tonight. Okay, thank you all for going on this journey. Oh with my me. gosh! You're the best companions a host could ask for. Holy Let's Wolf just donated $122. What? Awards starts now. Time for the Q Awards. Holy <laughs> Wolf! Donated $100! Welcome to the Game Awards 2023. Now, here is your host, the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keeley. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please let there be a sniper mounted on the roof to make sure that if anybody runs on that stage, they <laughs> bang. No one better run on stage. Good Don't evening, interrupt everyone, Jeff. Everyone, and welcome to the Game Awards. Tonight is our 10th TGA, a global celebration of video games, and Hi, boy, Gary. do we have a show for you. I am so excited to get this started. Together, we are going to recognize outstanding creative work in games in 2023, and we'll look into the future with an astonishing lineup of world premieres. More than anything, this is a show about bringing our community together in this room and online around the world to focus on something we can all agree on, <laughs> there's nothing more powerful or more immersive than an extraordinary video game. Can we just make sure? Wait, are, are those Great security guards right there? <laughs> help us understand different perspectives on the world and maybe even change us. That's what makes this medium different. Games, the actual things we play are insanely special and we're gonna celebrate that for the next few hours. And we've got such an amazing group of people with us. They're built by talented creators and teams. And many of them are here tonight. Mr. Anuma, Mr. Fujibayashi, great to see you back after winning oh Game of the Year God. 2017. Tell me if I the Wild. Good luck Man, tonight. Thank you. One of our industry's greatest creative and technical forces, Mark Cerny, PlayStation's 
lead system Mark architect Cerny. celebrating 25 oh, he was, years he of Cerny to be games. Staring at the camera. Thank you for being here, Mark. Mark. Scared me. Of course, the team behind Pizza Towers here, too. Thank you, Tommy Five O. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone's here. Melina Jurgens, our best performance winner in 2017 for Hellblade. Welcome. I think we'll be seeing you a little bit later tonight. Thank you, Tommy Five O. Thank you so much. And we are also honored to be joined by the Tujimoto family, Haru and Ryozo, who are celebrating 40 years of Capcom this year. Wow. And the Game of the Year nomination for Resident Evil. Welcome, guys. It's so great to have you with us. Now, we have a big show, so let's get right into Billy it. Billy Patrick Clinton. Thank you so much, for the $2. Award Thank you. last year's winner of Best Performance. Please join me in welcoming back to the Game Awards, yep, we're gonna do it, the actor behind Kratos in God of War, Christopher Judge! Okay, Christopher Judge. Uh, <laughs> you were memed last year. Let's try to keep it short. <laughs> Love you, man. Let's, let's, let's keep it, let's keep it short. Oh, what a card. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for the $2. <laughs> it is such a pleasure to be back here. I have such great memories of last year. Mr. Pacino, forgetting to thank my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I started the music. <laughs> <laughs> Mother. All right, all right. I get it. I get it. I'm not going to stand up here making long speeches. I'm going to stick to the script. No eight minute speech like last year. But, fun fact my speech was actually longer than this year's. Call of Duty campaign. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! oh! Whoa! Whoa! Uh, another company I'll never work for. Uh, <laughs> I'm here to present the award for best performance in a year of games. Beloved by audiences and acclaimed by critics, these actors delivered six unforgettable performances. And here are the nominees. Best performance. Thank you, Spencer, for $6. Let's make this award show count for some of the CGI, on everyone's favorite purple boy and go for it. I feel the honor grasp. You oh, play games. You thank you, Spencer. Thank you. I hope so too, man. I'm not Did sure though. These pages, I don't know. I genuinely Wink don't know. I don't know. I'm My not. Name eh. is a star. They won't ever control me again. Ready for your annual physical? We have to talk. Thank you. I'm the hero here. Okay, I, it, I think it's gonna go with the Yuri. Whoever wins, Jeff has given me the okay to say, take as long as you want to. Thank everyone who's ever meant anything in your life. <laughs> and I dare you. I double dare you to try to break my whack record. Seven minutes, 59 seconds. <laughs> and the award goes to... Neil Newbar. Oh, wow. Baldur's Gate 3? <laughs> oh, God. I'm Hi. Um, it wins best performance. This is unreal. Um, I just wanted to say, I know I don't have much time. Um, <laughs> well, I'll give it a shot. Uh, so, no, thank you so very, very much for everybody that voted. Thank my incredible uh, fellow actors and the nominees, unbelievable talent. Okay. To be even considered amongst you is, is extraordinary, so thank you very much indeed. To Swen, to Larian, to all the writers, to Stephen Rooney, the writer of Astarian, 
to, I'm going to forget everybody, uh, to uh, Pit Stop, who worked so hard, the directors, my fellow actors, 248 incredible actors that gave it heart and soul. Uh, to mi familia, gracias <laughs> para todos. Gracias, Chapman. gracias, y Coco también. And to my agents, I will thank you later. I'm sorry, I'm going to wrap it up apparently. One thing I will say, please, if that's okay, the community has reached out to so many of us at Larian and said they were seen and they were represented by this game when they lost hope, they felt isolated, they felt alone, and this game brought them together and gave them something to push through to help them all. And to you, I want to say thank you so much for seeing us. Appreciate it. Chapman, don't you know, super chat. That's a bird I've ever seen. Yeah, no None kidding. of us are. Thank you. That was, that, oh, man. Roasted. Like, literally just, just shot through the heart. Oh, oh. Congratulations, Neil. Great speech and short, so thank you. Uh, there are lots more awards to come, but now it's time to look ahead to what you'll be playing next. Let's get to those world premieres. And for the honor of presenting our first one, it's an incredible thrill to introduce a true Renaissance man. Please welcome Academy Award winning actor and New York Times best selling author, Matthew McConaughey. How are you doing? What's Matthew McConaughey doing here? Thank you all for having me. Good to be here. What's up, everybody? Good to be oh, here with you at the Game being, Award. Uh, Woody Harrelson's brother is so weird. I was going to come so out weird. and I was going to say the line that has preceded me all my career. All right, all right, all right. But they told me. They said, no, no, no. Don't do that. Come out and say, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> all right, we'll see how that, how that, how that handles. I'm here tonight because I have a world premiere for you from Austin's own Archetype Entertainment. I'm also here tonight because the video game that I'm premiering is the first ever video game that I'm a part of. Ooh. Yay. When the Archetype team first reached out to me, I was excited about becoming a part of the gaming world, but what really turned me on was when they shared the game's vision and my role in it. I will be voicing a character in this game, and all I can say is that I will have a unique relationship with every player. In this game, time moves differently. Days for you are decades for your loved ones back home. Uh -oh. The choices that you make not only affect the people that you love, they'll also affect your entire civilization for generations to come. Oh, that, that, no stress. And personally, I have had some experience with time dilation. <laughs> and now you can too. So now I am proud to share the first ever look at Exodus. All right. Max, we need to head back. It's not a good reading. I'm reading you stepped in the wrong spot. What she found that day was a miracle. It would be our salvation to fight against the Celestials, okay. humanity's greatest enemy. This is it. They found us. Okay. The Celestials hunted us down. I knew they'd keep chasing us until they ripped our ship apart. And I had to save her. I led them away from this world, away from her. We both knew the cost of using the gates. When you travel at light speed, time slows to a crawl. It was only days for me, but an entire lifetime passed for her. And in the chaos of those final moments, we never said goodbye. service our 
sacrifice, discovers worlds, seeds hope, breaks empires. We are the travelers. There we go, actual gameplay, good. I'm feeling Mass Effect y though. Okay. That nice. is a very exciting project, giving me some Mass Effect vibes, and I appreciate the team sharing the first glimpse of who, gameplay. Who just said uh, that? There. Who just Great. said All that? Right. Well, now we're going to go right on to another world premiere. Let's go. Oh. Okay. What? 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 You are certain you remember nothing of this place. No! No oh, shot! No shot! No shot! To thyself. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? I must face this. No shame in what just happened. It's all part of the process. Let's go again. It's gotta be DLC, right? Valhalla! What? What? No, it's this month now. I forgot it was December. It's <laughs> what? My brain turned off. There's a very nice holiday surprise from PlayStation. Kratos and Mimir are headed to it's Valhalla in free? an adventure that blends God of War Ragnarok's combat with elements inspired by the roguelike genre for an emotional, <laughs> unexpected, and fun new twist. And yes, as you saw, it is free. The team at Santa Monica Studio Woo! are fans of their fans and are offering this DLC, God of War Ragnarok Valhalla, as a gift to the community, and you will be able to download it in just five days on December 12th. <laughs> yes. Amazing. Yes. All right, switching gears. Our next world premiere comes from a small independent team of developers in Australia. I love that this show can give a platform to independent creators. Their last game <laughs> in 2019 Tuesday. was a sensation, and their next project is equally exciting and unexpected. <gasps> oh, 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 please. For you and your friends. Is it a spinoff? Oh, there they are. Where? Oh, I see them. Let's go. What? Oh, it's not until Goose Game, but it's different. <laughs> I'm getting bug snacks vibes. <laughs> I'm happy we're getting you. <laughs> what is this? 
big walk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Super fun, right? I did a play test of that game about a year ago and had so much fun. It is a very special and unique game, and I'm honored we got to share it with you here at the show. All right, while you're watching TGA, head to tgasteamdeck.com okay, right now. <laughs> We're doing another Steam Deck giveaway. This time, it's the brand new one terabyte Steam Deck OLED featuring an HDR OLED display. Enter now only <laughs> during the live show around. at tgasteamdeck.com for a chance to win one of 100 OLEDs. All right, trust me, we are just getting started, guys. There are so many game announcements, awards, and musical performances ahead, including the old gods of Asgard from Alan Wake 2. Just wait, it's amazing. We'll be right back. Ah, oh, Prince of Persia. I'm here to save a prince. Are you now? Prince Hassan has been kidnapped. Take the lead, Sargon. You are to leave for Mount Calf at once. Bring him back. Bring back my son. It's strange. It's a maze here, but I feel I've walked this path before. Kara, you were right. I saw our kingdom engulfed in flames. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Am I still alive? Hmm. You seem stronger, but not strong enough to save a friend yet. This one, this one actually looks pretty good. Are you courageous enough and clever enough to save your friend? I'll do whatever it takes. It would be cool if they put Crash Team Rumble as one of these commercials. Free demo on my birthday? That's weird. Oh, it's the uh, Lego Fortnite that they just announced. I heard people are saying it's really good. A lot of people are saying this game is really good. I heard it was up uh, pretty good. This guy looks neat. It's almost, I'm getting like a, it's a like Fortnite and Minecraft. I've heard I've heard a lot of good things about it. Please welcome a former Game I have Award winner for best performance, Ninja Theories, Melina Jurgen. Looks fun, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Performing an original piece from our upcoming game, Senua Saga Hellblade 2. I'm proud to introduce to you to one of my favorite bands, Heilung. Okay, I don't know if we can... 
Can we play this? I think we'll be okay. I, I think we'll be okay. I think we're okay for this one. I think. Definitely different. I need it just. All right, I'll mute it for now. So, just in case we don't get the stream shut down. Uh, okay, so I apologize that we have to mute it because, you know, DMCA stuff. Uh, okay, so if you if you want to watch it, I apologize. Um, but so far we've had one, two, three, four, uh, since the Game Awards, um, we've, since the Game Awards, we've had a bunch of really, uh, really good um, uh, announcements. So we had... Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 win best performance. Then we had Exodus, which looks like uh, Mass Effect. God of War DLC, Valhalla, free. And Big Walk. So, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So, okay. Um, so far, not a bad show. So far, not a bad show. Um, and then of course we had a whole bunch of stuff during the pre-show. Um, the one that really stuck out to me during the pre-show was Windblown. That one looked cool. That one looked really cool. And Harmonium is something that I think is super awesome. Super awesome to be made. I love, I love the idea of, um, I love the concept of accessibility and I love the concept of games, uh, hitting a different, Games that are a genre, are hitting a different genre, that are hitting a different vibe. I like it a lot. It's very wholesome. Uh, it looks very well knit made, and I'm very excited to see uh, more about that. Uh, so yeah. Uh, oh, Bandicoot Girl just donated ten dollars to Super Chat with a big thank you sticker. Well, thank you, Bandicoot Girl. I appreciate that. Thank you. And on you. Oh, I've I'll... dreamt of this. Send was sacrifice. Are we gonna get a release date? This place of fear and fury. Do you hear it? The heartbeat of the lost ones. I can feel them on my skin. Been a hot minute you since. The truth. Are, are we gonna get a release date? All the lives inside me tell me to let go. The shadow will always hang over me. Yeah, basically.
2024. Okay, at least... Alright. Alright, well, at least they give... That's better than, you know... Nothing, I suppose. 2024. Interesting. All right, what an amazing new look at the gameplay and world of Hellblade 2 coming in 2024 to Xbox, PC, and Game Pass. Now to present our next award, please welcome a former Game Award winner nominated tonight for Best Fighting Game, the creative director of NetherRealm Studios. Ed Boone. It's Ed Boone. Of course it's Ed Boone. A pioneer in the gaming industry. Absolutely. The best stories are the ones we get lost in. Tonight's nominees for Best Narrative got us all in their drama, in their characters, best and yes, narrative. sometimes in some weird stuff we can't explain. Here are the nominees. Best Narrative. This could go. In a horror story, they're only victims and monsters. Now we do it. Blesses Ball me this day. Could get us Together, too. we might survive. Attention, all personnel! No. We have uninvited guests! No matter how bitter the truth that awaits me, really? I will press on. He's here on some kind of hunt. Ah! He's not himself. You want to join us? Spider-Man 2 is really good. I don't think it's gonna win. See that Alan Wake or Baldur's Gate? And the award goes to... Alan Wake 2. Yep, yep, yep. That was either Alan Wake or, and yeah, it was. Ah. Thank you so much. Um, Alan Wake 2, from the beginning, was a very story-focused project for us. I share this with the whole narrative team, the writers, uh, Clay, Tyler, Sinica, narrative designers who made the story into gameplay, Simone, Molly, the whole narrative team, uh, directors working with actors, Ansi, uh, Hannah, Rosie, Holly, uh, all the wonderful actors here tonight, some of them, Melanie, uh, Ilka, uh, uh, Matt and David, but the whole, whole cast, wonderful actors, and, and the song makers who made custom music, <laughs> custom songs to extend the story. Here tonight, later, Poets of the Fallen, Old Gods of Asgard, Poe, uh, This Road, every song maker coming through Fright Music uh, for our chapter songs. Thank you. Uh, we wanted to push things further, to do something new, and it's always oh. a risk for you to embrace it and understand it means so much. I'll treasure this always. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you donating $7.96 to Streamlabs here to email, to e again, to email at the bar. Thank you so much, Donkey. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're 27% from the bar. Okay. It's a world premiere, commercial. Artist to stay. You may have recognized that incredible creator who built her own independent studio in Tokyo and she wanted to show you what she's been working on before okay. she's even signed it with a publisher or a platform. I said, come to this show, just show it to the audience and the fans first. So that's what we're gonna do. We're honored to have her back at the Game Awards. Please give a warm welcome to Akumi Nakamura. Yeah, so, so far, um, uh, God of War DLC Valhalla is pretty cool. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this, I... Wow, I see. Mooney, amazing gamer! <laughs> I remember her. <laughs> Hi, Kumi Nakamura desu. Konnichiwa. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> I'm super excited to be on this stage again. Thank you. 
a uh, first. Uh, <laughs> I, remember, first, I remember she's, I she's cool. I want to say thank you to the Anshin artist, Miteru. <laughs> and you, thank you, 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 all of you. <laughs> The Ghostwire uh, Tokyo presenter girl. Yeah, that's right. Your support changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I am honored to introduce our first project, Kemuri. <laughs> it's time to see the unseen. Meet it! Bye bye! <laughs> Yeah, she was super, she was fun and cute the first time we saw her. She's cool. I like the aesthetic. So many incredible cool. projects tonight. Thank you, Akumi. Now, tonight, it's not lost on me that all of our Game of the Year nominees are from big, established franchises. And while we all love a big sequel, it's important to use a place like TGA to introduce you to brand new worlds, like what you just saw with Kamuri, and like this project. My sister fair She sings like more is it private division a big company though? Or are they just publishing a smaller game? I'm not sure. Anyway. My sister goes. She drowned this evening. But still visits by the light of the moon. We prayed for summer. We prayed for fall. To prosper. Creators of Ori. Oh, oh, okay. Color me intrigued. Moon Studios. Creators of Ori. Showing gameplay. That's no rest for the Wicked in action RPG from Moon Studios, and more information is coming March 1st, as you saw with the Wicked Inside Showcase. Tonight, during the Game Awards, viewers in the US can enter to win one of 100 Lenovo Legion Go gaming handhelds, a Windows 11 that, gaming PC in your hand. Head to TGALegion.com before the end of the show to enter for your chance to win. Here's a look at the Legion Go in action. Oh, is is Nintendo gonna be like? Is Nintendo gonna be upset? The best discoveries are the ones you really feel. The thrill of exploring new worlds. The rush of victory. But there's still so much more to discover. Just 
play. Every choice you make is a chance to finish Raheem 101 new. donated two dollars to Super Good Chat. Luck. Thank you so much for the two dollars. I hope that spiral will appear. I, uh, I, 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 I'm trying not to like down anyone's hope. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm leaning towards no, but I don't want to kill anybody's um, like hype. I am interested in this game. I know a lot of people are saying it's like just it's a Ubisoft game with an Avatar skin on top, of it, but I love Avatar. You are Sorento. Teach me the ways of the Na'vi. I love Avatar, so... What they do to the land, the RDA, that is death. We did not want war, but they have made us warriors. Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora, available now. If nothing else, it's pretty. Exactly, yeah. If nothing else, it's piratey. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This hits. Mm -hmm. Good day, Sot. You're just a wiffle waffle. You can't even aim when you go into battle. I am a baron. Sure. You are a border. I write decrees. You mix mortar. Bye, Andy. I got an anchor. You eat horse bread because your mom's a baker. <laughs> Okay. We have been saying it all night, but it really has been an outstanding year for gaming. And now to talk about some of the biggest games, it's a pleasure to welcome from the Muppets, that's right, the great Gonzo. Gonzo! Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, Jeff. It's great to be here. Hello, everybody. Hey, buddy, thanks for uh, coming. I, looks like you're kind of wearing what I'm wearing. Yeah. It's like looking in a mirror, isn't it? <laughs> well, I really, well don't I really don't think. So, Gonzo, so Gonzo what, have what, have <laughs> what have you been playing? Seriously, what have you been playing? Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Gonzo's, Gonzo's buying, buying everyone popcorn, popcorn tonight. tonight. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> all right, that was a good one. You got me. Well played, Jeff. Yeah, well, thank you. Seriously, though, what have you been playing, Gonzo? Well, lots and lots of Tears of the Kingdom. What an incredible game. You know that one mission where you follow the cuckoo up a hill? I lost track of how many days I spent doing that. The objective is really, you know, just follow the chicken. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> That's right, you do love your chicken. So I guess that was your favorite part. What did you think of the ending? Oh, I never get past that cuckoo mission. I keep restarting to see if I can get a slower time. <laughs> All right, well, any other great gaming highlights this year for you, Gonzo? Are you kidding? Actually, if you have the time. Hey, you, you guys got a minute? <laughs> I'd like to show you Thank how you for many the $5. of this year's greatest games like all revolve around one central theme. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> it's trash! It's get trash. the board. Yeah, trash that's quite board. a conspiracy you've uncovered. <laughs> I know, I know. There, you there's, there's think I'm crash showed up. And I can't appreciate video games beyond this one very specific interest. I mean, yeah, I think we're all thinking that. Yeah, maybe. What do you think, Zelda? <laughs> yes, let's do this IRL. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, here are the nominees for best debut oh, I'm just indie game. <laughs> best debut indie game. Love it. Crash show up to the Game Award guys with Gonzo. I feel as free as a cuckoo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the great Gonzo. Thank you, Gonzo. And now to the task at hand. The Game Award goes to... Best debut indie. Cocoon! 
Thank you so much. Uh, the team from Geometric couldn't make it out tonight, uh, but they wanted us to pass along their thanks for everyone who played and voted for Cocoon. And to Yepi, Mads, and Jakob, and everyone at the team at Geometric, thank you so much for being such a wonderful partner on this game. Thank you. The Geometric team also wanted to thank um, and be, they were honored to be nominated with all the awesome studios in this category. Um, we can't wait to see what you guys do next. Thank you. Later tonight, we'll announce the best mobile game of 2023, but which title are you most excited to see go mobile in 2024? Google Play will be awarding the most anticipated title with their Play More Award on Twitch. So head on over to Twitch to lock your vote. And now it's time for our next world premiere. Well, premiere. Yo, yo. This is a world premiere? Crazy taxi. Did you save the game? Really? Of course I did. Okay. Let me reintroduce it. Wait. What? Jet Set Radio? Okay, wait. Crazy What is... Golden Axe? What? Now in develop? They're bringing back Jet Set Radio. No way! Oh yeah! Now typically a world premiere reveals one game, but leave it to Sega to announce five new games five? in one trailer. So many memories for all of us. Crazy all Taxi, Jet Set Radio, many brand new games Golden Axe. Except for release over the next several years. Thanks to Sega for that truly incredible announcement. All right, well this next trailer might be something Dragon Ball fans have been waiting to hear about for a while. Here we go. Budokai? Budokai Tenkaichi? I think? Budokai Tenkaichi? <laughs> yeah, buddy! Yes! <laughs> I love Budokai Tenkaichi! Yeah, buddy! Oh, this is good. Tremble before my power! Yes! I'll show you the horrors of hell. Yes! We got Broly? Yeah! Sparking- wait, what? Sparking Zero? Is that the start of the Budokai? Thank you so much for the $10. Yes, new Budokai. Okay, is that what the new name Sparking Zero? Whatever's down there is too dangerous. I won't go with 
hope for Spyro if it doesn't show up today. You have to remember, that acquisition threw a wrench into everything. That's right. Two huge names in the horror genre, new, Dead by Daylight remember. and Supermassive Games, are coming together for that a brand new single-player experience, the casting of Frank screws Stone. Screws everything up. Now, tonight, we're showing you lots of new worlds, but now it's time to return to a world we haven't seen in quite some time. Okay. Ever while? No. Yes? No? Yes. Yes. What is this? Yeah, that sounds more like it. A new man adventure, yes. I think my buddy... I watched my buddy play the first one, I think. Visions of man. Cool! PlayStation. It is said that time marches to the beat of a drum. Is this a that Ronin game? can feel like a lifetime for those caught in its deadly rhythm. And a lifetime can pass in the blink of an eye for anyone embracing its bitter end. Oh! Wait. The only thing we know for sure is that time marches forward. Even if we are apart, still we are one. Without hesitation, no. Is this? Without remorse. Is this the, that Ronin game? If the drum drives the rhythm, then the river directs the flow. Let's do this, together. I don't think it's not Ninja Gaiden. I don't think it's that, like, golden How many there. mountains must you move to alter the river below? Let us not forget the pain of Master Showing and the countless others who have suffered. Preemptive you, guys. If nothing Spyro and crash shows up, don't be disappointed. Don't be getting mad. As the smoke rises, it sucks. So it would suck. We. Ronin, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's the uh, see rise of the Ronin. I knew it was that I kept saying Ronin. Blumois. A veil that will sacrifice their partner for duty. So which of you will do the deed? 
I know it would suck, though. I understand, though, that if a spy if Spiral 4 doesn't show up, it would suck. But there, there's something. It's not vibing. It's not. That's there, Rise of the Ronin coming to PlayStation possible, in 2024. And now it is time to announce winners in a number of other categories. Watch. Here are the nominees for Best Action Game. Oh, we're just... Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. I hope Dead Hi-Fi Island Rush 2, wins this one. Ghost Runner 2, Hi-Fi Rush, and Remnant 2. And the Game Award goes to Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Congratulations from. Here are the nominees for Best Art Direction. Alan Wake 2, Hi-Fi Rush, Lies of P, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, why are we just and ripping The Legend of these, Zelda, though? Tears of the Kingdom. But why? And the Game Award goes to Alan Wake 2. Congrats, Remedy. Here are the nominees for Best VR AR. Gran Turismo 7, Humanity, Horizon Call of the Mountain, Resident Evil Village VR Mode, and Synapse. Why are we just ripping through And the Game Award these? goes to Resident Evil Village VR Mode. Congratulations to Capcom. Now your nominees for Best Mobile Game. Final Fantasy VII, Ever Crisis, Honkai Star Rail, Hello Kitty Island Adventure, Monster Hunter Now, and Terra Nil. And the Game Award goes to Honkai Star Rail. Congratulations, Hoyoverse. Yeah. All right, we have much more Game Awards to come, including the first ever performance by the old gods of Asgard from Alan Wake 2. And some of our biggest game announcements are still to come. But right now, we'd like you to meet one of tonight's nominees for Best Debut Indie Game, who is also part of the newly inducted Future Class, presented by Old Spice. See, like, uh... My name is Abhi. In India, when I grew up, I had a very early interest in games. When I got to Canada at the age of 12, it was a whole new world for me. For many South Asian families, food is not just a thing to cook, but also a way of expressing affection and all the things that they cannot say. Benba is a narrative cooking game that tells the story of an Indian mother who moves to Canada in the late 1980s. It's a story about love, loss, and family. The more local you are, the more international you become. Everybody who's played the game is able to put something from their lives into it in ways that I wouldn't have expected. So, we, we, we're gonna need a big reveal next because we're starting, we're starting to, Dip a bit. I'm starting to dip a little bit in terms of the pacing. We want you. Are you meant for better things? I can save someone with this. <laughs> what is going on? Lonely, lost, poor, confused. I won't let you hurt the children! Wait, wait, grind the- wait, do we have to grind the children? What up, man? Welcome in. Okay, now we sit down, very comfy. But the miracles of science give you purpose. Sometimes the finger of God reaches down and touches you. Men and See? women of any I'm sorry, not for me. Class or political persuasion. See, for me, no. I'm sorry. No. No. Not for me. No. Now. A vape chimera. Nicotine addiction can make stress worse. Why did you? Okay, welcome back to the Game Awards. And are you ready? It is time to get a world premiere from one of our industry's 
greatest creators. He's been a huge supporter of the Game Awards since the very beginning back in 2014. And tonight, I am so, so honored to share this latest update with you on his upcoming project. Here we go. What? Oh, boy. Of course. The hungry purple dinosaur ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale, and started bending and quacking. Excuse me? The hungry purple dinosaur ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale, and started bending and quacking. Gazootight? The hungry purple dinosaurs ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale, and started bending and quacking. Xbox Game Studios. Oh. Did Kojima. Wait. Wait. Did Kojima team up with Xbox? Ooh. Ooh, that would be spicy. Please welcome the visionary <laughs> game developer behind OD, Mr. Hideo Kojima! Of course he's here. Welcome, Mr. Kojima, back to the Game Awards. Uh, thank you, Jeff. えっと、10回目となる記念すべきこのTGAで、え、ま、新作のゲーム、ODえ、発表できて非常に嬉しいです。え、このゲームには、え、ソフィア、リリースと、え、ハンターシェファーと、ウドキアさんが出演されます。は
How's it going? Oh my God, Jordan! Welcome to the Game Awards. What a fun surprise! I know you're All a big right. fan of Hideo's games, right? A huge fan of Hideo. This man is an icon, and uh, I, I can just I can say from the first moment I played Metal Gear Solid 2, I knew I was experiencing the work of an artist whose craft just hits different. And he's been an inspiration to me, and the opportunity to collaborate with him is truly incredible. In my films, I'm always trying to maximize the immersion, put the audience into the main character's shoes. Hideo is the master of this, and he does it on a whole nubba level. <laughs> And what he's cooking up here is completely immersive, utterly terrifying, and I am absolutely honored to be collaborating with the GOAT. Let's go! <laughs> Two GOATs working together. Uh, Hadale, I want to ask you, how are you collaborating with Jordan? Tell us about it. Jordan is a one of the most Jeff's, Jeff's got to have his involvement like his interview with Kojima every <laughs> game award. Kojima's got to be involved in some way. Jordan has 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 to well, Jordan is one of those genius, and I've been a big fan of him. And when I met him, I felt like we were friends from the past. We get on very well. We like things that we both like, and we're really happy, and we wanted to collaborate something. And, and this time, um, well, Jordan, I, I grew up watching movies, and I'm a game creator now. Jordan grew up playing games, and he's a movie director now. So this two collaboration will be really awesome. So that's why I wanted to do something together with Jordan. Atto desu ne, ano... Nothing on the spiral front. Buddy is here to fuss with the armor. This project is not only Jordan, but also many creative supporters and people who are planning on participating. And the question is, それぞれの恐怖っていうのの焦点を当ててもらってストーリーテリングしてもらうと予定です。であのここではそのメンバーを紹介できませんけども非常に豪華な夫人というか巨匠たちの集まりなんで、えー、僕はその彼らを集めてアベンジャーズと呼んでます。えー、ぜひ楽しみにしてください。So、uh, what I could say right now is that I'm kind of um, um, it's not just Jordan. I have other、uh, creative collaborative partners.、Uh, with me on board on this project. I can't really、uh, say who they are right now, but they, I tell you they are the legends and they're going to be amazing. And、uh, I actually call them the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> well, the door is closed for now, so no more special guests, but it's going to be amazing. Wanna, I, I just want to stress that what this man is building here is unlike any other game. It is going to be crazy. That's, that's it. Yeah, this We is cannot wait to learn more. Hideo、time. Kojima, Jordan Peele, thank you so much, guys. All right, it's time, time for another game announcement. This one's 65 million years in the making. I own an island off the coast of Costa Rica. Jurassic Park! Really I can spend no expense. Dinosaurs! This place. I want to show you something that wasn't an illusion. Something that was real. Okay, what's the gameplay about? Can anyone hear me? This is Dr. Maya Joshi. I've been left behind on Isla Nubla. <laughs> Girl. Is 
ಬನ್ನಿ ಮುಂದೆ I hope it's a survival game. Okay. It is. Okay, now I'm interested. Please welcome Grammy Award winning producer, Zed. It's pro probably going to be a, a long time, but that's cool. Hello everybody. I'm honored to be here tonight to present the award for best audio design. Sound is an often overlooked but crucial aspect of game development. It's what brings games to life, creating the immersive worlds we love to explore. Yeah, you know what else is it's overlooked the eerie apparently noises deep best in the forest, art because that was just the overlooked inside in a an quick... abandoned spacecraft or the satisfying sound of shooting a web. This year we've seen some incredible examples of audio design in games as talented sound designers have pushed the boundaries of what's possible. Here are the nominees. Best audio design. Like why did we skip over best art? That that kills me. Isn't Hi-Fi Rush all, like, around music? And the Game Award goes to... Hi-Fi Rush. Nice! I was looking at the game based on music. Does it win best audio design? <laughs> I, think would, I think everyone would be smelling some uh, some bologna. Uh, thank you so much. え、信じられません。えっと、え、このような素晴らしい賞をいただきありがとうございます。え、制作チーム一丸となって取り組んだ成果を、え、評価していただけたこと大変嬉しく思います。え、制作をサポートしてくださった、あ、皆様、また作品を応援していただいた皆様に心より感謝いたします。本当にありがとうございます。Just a quick translation. Thank you for this amazing award. It's so glad that the work that the team has done together has to achieve has been recognized here. Thank you to everyone who supported this project and from myself, thank you to our family, friends, partners, pets. Um, thank you everyone at Bethesda, Zenimax, Microsoft and the, all the players out there. Um, for going with this ridiculous project. And most of all, to the team at Tango for taking such a wild idea and making it a reality. Thank you so much. All right, let's turn to the world of Fortnite. If you haven't already, check out the Game Awards Island in Fortnite. It's been updated with new trophies tonight to collect. Fortnite is expanding into a full-on platform with tons of new experiences beyond Battle Royale. Earlier today, LEGO Fortnite launched, and on Saturday, the music game Fortnite Festival. Tomorrow, though, the team at Psyonix behind Rocket League delivers Rocket Racing. Here's your first look.
I see what Epic's trying to do. They're trying to make Fortnite and the Epic gaming uh, engine and the Unreal Engine is just kind of a more of a big open source kind of platform. Less than just a game, but like a kind of platform. Not actual game footage, but it comes out tomorrow. Their minds yearn to ascend, yet fame still holds sway. Their glory fades through time in tombs of somber gray. You too want to be an immortal? Okay there, Illidan. Master, are there more good folks in the world or bad? More good, of course. Then why is there always suffering? And why do the bad folks always win? Because goodness without teeth punishes not. It only foments evil. Lens the world oh, with blood uh, and grow lotuses in it. Like that, that is your destiny. Uh, um, Black I, the keeper of the new west, welcome the destined one. The destined one who doesn't Black even Mithra. know what he's destined for. Those old rascals, they surely know how to name. Is my kind destined for extermination? You're driven by glory, not destiny. So this is the face of the destined one. It will fit me just as well. Bathed in blood, yet preaching peace. Oh, you immortals, pray enlighten me. What justifies your superiority? Chinese mythos. Oh, sweet destiny. Is it really state? No. Go for it. Suicide Squad? Green Lantern. The Flash. Superman. Your friends are slaughtering the people they swore to protect. My Justice League will burn this earth down for me. a massive delay. Flash, how do I stop this? You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. We can work with that. Finally, someone let me out of my cage. Now, <laughs> You think you're a team now? Suicide Squad. You think Killed you can them. stop us? Thought you'd never ask. Pick and choose, sit and lose, all you different crews. Chips and dudes, who you think is really kick and choose? The single player game that requires you to constantly be online. He's the fastest man alive! According to all these girlfriends. I'm happy, feeling glad I got sunshine. So, what's the plan? Time for us bad guys to save the world. Yeah, th this game had a big thing of controversy. Massive thing of controversy because it was, um... 
Uh, that was Suicide Squad, and joining me now are Rebecca and Megan from Digital Extremes up in Canada to talk about all things Warframe. Uh, we've got a special Warframe Twitch drop tonight for those of you watching on Twitch, but I understand you've also got some other news for Warframe fans on the next expansion, Ooh, right? Close. Yeah, we do. You know, it's been 10 years for Warframe, so, you know, 10 years for you. We assumed we'd get a senior's discount of some time, just because our game is probably the oldest game here, maybe. But, yeah, we Keeps have... going strong. I know, it's because our community is so Fortnite. awesome, and we are going to be showing you the release date for our next major update for Warframe. So we do have a trailer for, you know, Warframe players around the world to watch, which is quite exciting. Yeah, I mean, it's been an incredible ride, 10 years of just our incredible developers, our community just supporting us along the way. So if you're a Warframe fan and watching, we love you and thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the next update, Whispers in the Walls. Oh yeah, thanks for having us back too. Devs at home, we love you guys. All right, thanks guys, let's take a look. For generations you've slept. No purpose, no call to wake you. But I now, don't think so you have changed everything. The lidless eye has seen you. Really? Is Warframe only for the Really? Tano. Then I, then I, I, I stand corrected. I did not know that. I tried Warframe for a bit, it was alright. Felt like, uh... Felt a bit like, uh, um, Destiny. Which, I wasn't crazy about Destiny. So much more Game Awards ahead. You thought the surprises were done? Nope, there's lots coming. But while you're here, head to SuperGameAwards.com through December 31st for a chance to win a trip for four to the brand new Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Hollywood. Here's a look. I'd love to go there one day. Ready for a new way to play? Experience the immersive world of Super Mario. Brought to life like never before. <laughs> Super Nintendo World. Now open at Universal Studios Hollywood. Ah, oh, that would be so cool to go to. Starfield? Is a, a or is this just a Starfield channel for the sake of Starfield? <laughs>
life to the living. Hey, Madeline, how's it going? Honoring my oath or sacrificing the living to bring you back. I'm not sure I can do this. Honor your oath or bring me back. But don't leave me like this. That's right. 911, this call is being recorded. What is your emergency? I I need the police. You need to call the police right away. Okay. okay. You ready? Suspect down! Right is down! I mean, I suppose we needed at least one. We gotta get you up. Look out! Ready? Officer is down and we need backup. Let's go! Get back! You can still make it out of this. Drop the gun and let her go. I'm not going in! So, are you ready? Okay. You had very odd looking pinkies there, sir. Your pinkies looked very uh um, lot less Age shooters. Of Empires, Call of Duty, Warzone Mobile, Little Nightmares, and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six are just some of the big titles coming to mobile in 2024. Head to the Game Awards on Twitch to vote for which title you want to win at uh, Google Play's own Play More yeah, Award. We're hitting the now. Please welcome last year's winner of Games for Impact for the game As Dusk Falls, which is coming to PlayStation on March 7th and is available for pre-order tonight. Starting to fall Creative a little Director bit behind. Caroline Marshall. Actually, no, we, we definitely hit the 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 the, the second. Um, Bonsoir everyone. Winning last year was We're hitting that second act of my 22 wall, years. That second act. Ugh. Games for Impact is one of the most important categories at the Game Awards. The games nominated this year offer unique and nuanced perspectives on topics that concern us all, from the climate crisis to cultural diversity. They broaden our horizons, foster empathy, and connect us as humans. In a world torn apart by divisions and intolerance, this is one of the most essential powers of our medium. Here are the outstanding nominees. Games for Impact. Legends says a traveler will reunite the peoples. What's the theme? Using this year to um, make an impact. Game Award goes to Chia. Oh, Chia, the uh, kind of the Breath of the Wild you can kind of jump into the you know. Thank you. I accept this award on behalf of uh, Develop ourselves. Who cannot wait, is be that here, but I yeah, that's Shu. Hey. From I was like, wait, that's Shu. Co-founder of ourselves. I'd like to thank ourselves family for your trust and unbelievable talent. Kepler Do not and play Sony the music on this for man. Believing in this crazy project. And the entire population of New Caledonia who championed and embraced cheer all along. Thank you, Mercy Oleti. <laughs> It's like, do not <laughs> play the music on shoe. A shoe will be thrown at anybody. It's like, don't do it. Don't do Hello. it. Uh, hi, no introduction? I'm Abu Bakr Salim. I'm mainly known for my acting work in Raised by Wolves and Assassin's Creed Origins. It would've been nice if someone introduced but, you. But, but, that is not why I'm here. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, no, this is, this is crazy, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember watching the Game Awards when I was younger, so being up here now is like... <laughs> oh, that is Bayek, eh? Hey! The Reginator! So I've, I've loved games all my life. Uh, I, I mean, I played them all my life, man, from Kingdom Hearts, Gary's Mod, Golden Sun. And it, it, it started with my dad, right? He got me into them. He understood, you know, that games that is are Bayek. an art form. 100%. You know, it's a great space to enjoy and escape from the reality of the world. And he passed away a while back. And I'll tell you what, I'm still figuring it out. But four years ago, I decided that I needed to try and process my grief in a way that felt true to me and him. So I took the biggest risks of my life and threw everything that I had in making a game. Okay. A, a piece of art that honored him, an ode to the people we have loved and lost. I'm interested. So... So the reason I'm here tonight is because with the love and support of a lot of people here, I'm going to take another big risk and I'm going to show you what we've been building. You know, I'm going to offer you this game, a game from my old man. I hope you like it. All right. You sold me. I'm interested. What do you got, sir? Every story begins at the end of another. Each story carries with it the echoes of those that came before. Critical role. My Baba, my father, your story was snatched away too soon. My name is Zhao, a shaman of Kinzera. Here, I seek my father's return. Okay. I like the aesthetic. I cannot stop. I will not stop. Kalunga, God of Death, hear my plea. Kalunga, God of Death, come to me. Show me you are ready. So. You know, I'm happy that he came out and did that. That was good. That looks good. <laughs> ah! Oh, looks like somebody uh, threw a cigarette into the wrong place. It's been 27 years, y'all. Why now? Because we made a promise. Lost Records. That was Lost Records, a brand new world from the development team behind Life is Strange. Now we have supported. a world premiere, a new look at a game based on an ongoing franchise of 18 years with over 850 million users worldwide. This entirely in-engine trailer shows off the blend between cartoon 3D graphics with hardcore action. This is the first Berserker. Okay. Is it called Berserker or is it Dungeon Fighter Online? Okay. Finally, I found you. Trampled by the one you trusted. How bad from your king. You thought you were a hero. <laughs> now, you are just one of us.
This is no ordinary ghost. You'll have to risk your life. Looks good, right? All right, now it's time for our first performance by the Game Awards Orchestra. This one, though, is a little bit of a twist. They're about to play music from an upcoming game that no one has heard yet. You might call it one of those world premieres, and this is a special one. It's written by one of the greatest video game composers of all time, the legendary Nobuo Utamatsu. Oh? Here is the Game Awards Orchestra, led by Lauren Balf, with lead vocals from Lauren Allred, debuting the theme song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Enjoy. OK. I have to hold on. Yeah, I'm, uh, it's pre. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just have the volume low. Uh, I'll keep the volume low and kind of talk over it because I kind of do want to. I wait. Is that Aerith singing? Okay, is this all new footage or have I missed a lot of this? Yeah, I went and saw Nobu Uematsu live at the. I, I saw the di the distant worlds years ago. It was really cool. And so, February twenty. It's all new footage. Yeah, okay, that's definitely interesting. All right, um, F, F seven. Man, on leap day, that's kind of cool. Oh, she took her earpiece out. You know, she took her earpiece out, and she is on pitch. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, very, very, very impressive. Very, very impressive. What an absolutely beautiful song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is nominated for most anticipated game tonight. Thank you to Lauren Allred and Maestro Lauren Balf and the Game Awards Ooh. Orchestra. They will be back later to pay tribute to our Game of the Year nominees. Why is this not? But that's not all we have tonight for Final Fantasy fans. Okay. What we've done, that's set in stone. Or so they'll tell you, dearie. Because the future has the power to change anything. Even the past. What? Strap in, Newtie. Things are about to get mighty interesting. Wait, what the? Is this Apex Legends?
Oh, man. That's a very fun when limits are made to be broken when Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes to Apex Legends on January 9th. And that key art you just saw was drawn by Nomura-san himself. Thank you so much for that incredible announcement. Now Oof. it's time to announce the winners of a few more awards as selected by the fans and our voting jury. In the category of Best Score and Music, oh, we're just the nominees are right Alan Wake eh? 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy 16, Hi-Fi Rush, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the Game Award goes to Final Fantasy 16. So, Kinsan, congratulations. Here are the nominees for Best Independent oh, Game. Who cares Coon, about this? Dave the Diver, Dredge, Sea of Stars, and Viewfinder. And the Game Award goes Dave. to Sea of Stars. Congrats, Sabotage. Here are the nominees for Best Community Support. Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077, Destiny no 2, way. Final Fantasy 14, Do not give and it to No Cyberpunk. Man's Sky. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Congratulations, Larian. All right. Nominees for Best Fighting Game. Those are God of Rock, Mortal Kombat 1, okay, we're just Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, Pocket Bravery, and Street Fighter 6. And the Game Award this year goes to Street Fighter 6. Congrats, Capcom. All right. Most anticipated game. Your nominees this year were Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Didn't he just spoil Hades that two, it's Final Fantasy VII? Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, Star Wars Outlaws, and Tekken 8. And the Game Award this year Did goes to... Did he just say it was Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy VII He Rebirth. literally just said that. Congratulations, Square and Nomura-san. All right. Well, it's been eight months since the release of Honkai Star Rail, a winner tonight for best mobile game. This space fantasy RPG filled with myths and legends is set for more intergalactic expeditions in 2024. And tonight, we have an exclusive look at Penacone, the next destination. Okay, so I guess we spent 10 minutes with Nomura, but we can't it? take two minutes Fame for some stars. of these other... His stories tell of what is and what was. Not one yet. Okay, well, it won. Something new. Like, why would you race through some of these? Why would you race through mm -hmm. some of these? Or Those else? are unforgettable memories. But they are only like we're just gonna race it. through best action, best art. We're just gonna race right through that. Okay, I guess. And then we're gonna go to racing through best fighting, best score. And joy. We're just will both be added to the final draft of the story. Like, what? You're just like, alright, we're just gonna spit these out. It's called the Game Awards, right? Like, on one of these pages, I'll appear in your story, too. Welcome to Penacone, young lady. May I ask your name? Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger. I just. A nominee okay. tonight for best mobile game, Monster Hunter Now is the new mobile game from Niantic and Capcom. Like all Niantic's games, Monster Hunter Now is played in the real world, and tonight they have a special in-game event going on right now with new monsters, new weapons, and special free game items for new players to join the hunt. It's available now for iPhone and Android, so check it out, Monster Hunter Now. Coming up, we've got an exclusive new look at the new Fallout series. We'll be right back. I don't get it. I, I really don't understand it. Like, why are we... Like, I don't want to be the pessimistic negative guy here, but it's kind of putting a, like, a negative, like, a, a sour taste in my mouth a little bit. Got targets. Weapons hot. 
Like, I understand you gotta, you know, people want to see, you know, uh, trailers and stuff. I totally get it. I get it. But it's called the Game Awards. Right? Like, am I alone in this, or am I crazy? Like, I can understand some of the lesser awards. I get it, like, best community support. Okay, fine. Uh, most anticipated. Okay, sure. But you're you're jumping through. But, but you're skipping through, like, best fighting game? You had Ed Boon right there. I think everyone's waited forever for Skull and Bones. It started development back in Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which was the start of the when the PS4 dropped. February 16th. All right, we're back here at the Game Awards, and that was a new look at Skull and Bones from Ubisoft, which is coming out on February 16th. I'm happy to announce that players can register now for the upcoming closed beta from December 15th to 18th on all platforms. And now it's time for the announcement of the next game from the studio that won Best Game Direction in 2021. Game Bethesda. Dishonored and Deathloop. I'm hearing Arabic, I've seen Arabic, I'm hearing French. Mm. Turn that shit up. What is going on? Relax, man. I don't bite. Sequel to do it, Stephanie? Hmm. Wait, this has got vampire too. Lock up tight now. Wait, Night's Blade? just getting started. Blade! Okay! Now that's a surprise! There you go. Joining me now are Dinga Bacaba from Arcane Leon and Bill Roseman from Marvel to tell us how did this come together, guys? Okay. Well, Jeff, let me tell you, the secret superpower of Marvel games is our constant focus on bringing together world-class talent with the fan-favorite characters that they love. Now, we are huge fans of Arcane okay. Leon. Not only because of the story-rich games they create Blade. with innovative gameplay, but because of their authentic By passion. Bethesda. And that's why... On Blade's 50th anniversary, we are so honored to announce this true Marvel team up. Yes, and uh, after Dishonored and Deathloop, our first order of business was to make another very arcane game, but with a title that is easier to say in a French accent. And uh, when we had, you know, when <laughs> Sebastian Miton and I had the opportunity to chat with Marvel, interesting. Said, okay, let's really challenge them. Let's present our wildest take on a superhero that we both love. And we ate it up. I mean, the arcane touch fits Blade like his yes, trademark trench coat. And I mean, think about it. It's, it's a mature action adventure game, single player, where you get to play Blade your way. For true believers, there we go. That's it's the a dream second come true. shock for me. Very excited to learn more. Uh, Dinga, why That's this good. character? Well, he's the Daywalker. Uh, Eric Walker. Brooks is half man, half vampire, torn between the warm society of the living and the rushing power of the undead. And uh, 
As a kid of mixed origins, uh, his dual heritage resonated with me. So yes, it is a dream to be making a game about Blade in Paris, my hometown. You know, if... He's very passionate. <laughs> very passionate. Well, if... <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> if my hometown was walled in, and we shared it with bloodthirsty invaders that come out as soon as the sun goes down. Ça serait un petit peu la merde, quand même. <laughs> Anything else you can tell us about the game? I know it's pretty early, right? Uh, I can tell you one thing. Okay. Uh, the entire team at Arcane Lyon is, you know, pouring so much love into this immersive, that's what I'm thinking. action adventure Fantastical. set in the heart of Paris. Yeah. So please sit back, let us cook. And voila! Merci beaucoup! <laughs> Merci! Let him cook! Wow, that, whoa! <laughs> Stunts too! Diga Bell, thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Great announcement. All right, awesome. Thanks, Diga. All right. Now, please welcome the star of Twisted Metal, a nominee tonight for Best Adaptation, Anthony Mackie! Anthony Mackie, oh, man. I was hoping we'd see Samoa Joe. I'd be going, Joe, 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 Joe! Cook, man. Cook, man. That was that was Thank good. You, That's gonna go well. hard. You guys didn't. Hey, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched Twisted Metal on Peacock. And hey, hey, yeah, yeah. I have one thing to do before I get on to the award I'm supposed to represent up here. Okay. Okay, all right. I know I say a lot of different things. You can't scream them all. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> now, no one knows this yet, so you three guys and everybody else is going to be the first. Because of our incredible fans, Twisted Metal is coming back for season two on Peacock. There we go. So, so everybody get your motor revving because you're going on another ride with John Doe. You look great. You guys see this section right here? You guys look great. Keep it going, baby. There we go. I don't trust this dude, but y'all look great. <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> don't you yell at me. I love you more. I love you. <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> okay, stop it, you. Okay. <laughs> love you too. I see you. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, <laughs> today, <laughs> the best games are like living universes, constantly expanding with new content and challenges, right? And that's what this award for best ongoing game recognizes. Right. The games that continue best to ongoing. deliver fresh experiences for their loyal communities. Here are the nominees. Best ongoing game. Light always pierces through. Let me put it this way. How is... No gun, no fun. The hour is come, Fretron. Let the magic begin! I remember playing Genshin Impact at PAX East. I remember that. Okay, I get so many cool points with my sons for this moment. Um, all right, so the game award goes to, shut up, <laughs> shut up. Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, no, oh, no. This is heavy, dude. No, no. This is heavy. Goodness. What a journey. What a journey it's been. <laughs> Holy. Video games are awesome. This is an incredible uh, moment. From launch to 1.5 to 2.0 Phantom yeah, Liberty. Yeah, from launch? And uh, now the you Ultimate were paying, Edition. Literally like, paying the people? The tenacity and the resilience of the team. For reviews? And just wanting to bring forward stories that impact. Worlds that are immersive. You know, the world being immersive. And of course, the gameplay just being fun. Fun as hell. I, this is exciting. Team, we accept this on behalf of hundreds of people who put their hearts and souls in it. 
the two of us here. Please, Sasuke, including this guy here, please <laughs> say something. And I mean, I, I have to include here our amazing players. They've been with us throughout the whole journey, gave us feedback, made funny memes, videos, you know, wrote posts on Twitter, on Reddit. It was amazing, you know, to see the reception what, of the players. to see your game get roasted? When they were actually getting all of those updates. Just recently we shipped update 2.1 for Cyberpunk 2077, and it's for all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, how does it kill us ongoing? Congratulations, guys. Our next guest has worked on some truly memorable games over the past 20 years, like GTA V, Bully, Need for Speed Underground, and the Red Dead Redemption series. Now he leads a new studio, uh. Lightspeed LA. Steve C. Martin is here to unveil a brand new project. Steve? Thanks, Jeff. Great to have you here. You showed, it, showed this to me earlier this year. Uh, tell us a bit about it. It's an honor to be here, so thanks for having us. Over the past few years at Lightspeed LA, myself, and a remarkable oh. team of over 200 talented, diverse industry veterans and fresh new talent have been in deep development on a fully original, AAA, futuristic open world game. Tonight, Ugh. we're really excited to offer you all a sneak peek at what we've been working on. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm so excited it's to share stretching. so much more with you in the future, but for now, I hope you all enjoy this first taste. Amazing, let's take a look, Steve, here we go. Don't expect Spyro tonight. We're trying, but you know, don't expect it. That acquisition threw a wrench in the gears. Without that acquisition, I definitely would have been hoping tonight. Mommy! Oh, jeez. Brutal, man. I'm scared, Mommy. Please. Hush now. It's going. Going to be okay. The demon is here. It's the demon. It's the demon. All right. Okay. I can understand the frustration, though. I get the frustration. I understand the frustration. Follow me. Interesting. Lift your head. Now open your eyes slowly. Stretching a little bit. Oh, that's big. That thing's big. Get it together, Balbi. Well, get it together. We're just dealing with a always tests us. You know, a, a giant female. You have to fight until the end. I'll find you. First Descendant.
That was the first Descendant, which is launching the summer of 2024 from Nexon. Now we have a new look at Hoyo versus next big game, Zenless Zone Zero, an urban fantasy ARPG. I have my eye on this one for a while. We had it at Gamescom, and we're excited to unveil their latest announcement right here at TGA. Zenless Zone Zero. You mean ZZZ, like go to sleep? <laughs> no, I don't want to sleep around that thing. <laughs> no thanks, I'm good. I'm not, I'm not sleeping on that by that thing. I'm uh Shark feed lady. Heartless looking thing. Or is this a, uh, um, um, no, um, Gundam. Is this Gundam? Yeah, this looks like Gundam. It's not Gundam Gamers Mecha demo Break? The Cyberpunk update. But we haven't told them what they're playing on. Let's see what happens when they find out. This looks amazing. Ray tracing is beautiful. Yeah, it's super real. <laughs> what do you think's powering your gaming? Like a 4090? 40 series? You're actually playing on a Chromebook Plus. Wow. Streaming on GeForce Now. Oh. What the heck? Oh my god. I would never have guessed that. I might have to look into getting a new Chromebook. It looked just, it looks just, okay. The tide of war uh, is turning against uh, us. Uh, hell divers? As hell divers we battle two against the bugs, the automaton threat grows more menacing by right? the day. We need valiant soldiers to take on these deadly robotic hordes and spread our message of peace and democracy. The mecha break. It literally looks like Gundam, like... Use the galaxy's most advanced weaponry. Fight alongside a squad worth dying for. Join the Helldivers. Join the fight for freedom. Enlist today. Yeah, I understand everyone your frustration about, you know, Sparrow 4 potentially not showing up. I, I... What is your life? My honor 
is my I, un life. I understand. What I understand. Is your craft? My craft is death. What is your pledge? My pledge is eternal service. Space Marine 2. Okay, now we have a special surprise for you. Live and exclusively here at the Game Awards. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your host, Wallendor, and I present to you the old gods of Asgard featuring that best-selling writer, Alan Wake. This is Herald of Darkness. And that's where we have this we have to mute. All right. So... I understand. I understand. And I... I understand. I get it. I feel in your frustration about... No Spyro 4 tonight. At least that's what it feels like right now. I get it. Lost Cause? No. Not a Lost Cause. So. It sucks. And, yeah, it's, it is what it is. But, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. We literally just got Spyro coming to Rumble. There's an obvious want for the brand to stay relevant. I don't know why. I don't know why it's taking so long for a new Spyro title. I don't understand why it's taking so long. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know why. Is it the pandemic? Because there's clear evidence. There's clear evidence that it's going to happen. And there's clear evidence that people want it to happen. Both uh, the developers, people who are watching, or people who are playing. There's obviously a clear want for it. Right? So why is there no Spyro? Well, I don't know. You see, I, I personally didn't walk in with the expectation that Spyro isn't going to be here. That's a little bit dramatic, H. Johnson. I think that's a little bit of a, 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 a gross overgeneralization. Because here's another thing, too, that I do want to point out. We... And I want to, and I do want to point this out. Is that that McDonald's trailer had Spyro in the background, and I, I'm not sit, sitting here saying like, "Oh, it means Spyro's coming." No, 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 no. What I'm saying about that specifically is that Rift Studios made that trailer, the same cinematic opening trailer for the opening of Crash Team Rumble, and. Obviously, if there's Spyro flying in the background, there is a CGI modeled tra uh, a CGI model of Spyro for some reason. Why is there a CGI model of Spyro for some reason? I don't think they would model a, a model of Spyro throw it in the background and call it a day. 
Oh, it might lead wow, to something. That but the fabulous poets of the fall performing in the we'll role see. of old gods. Of Cyber Asgard, Fox already five dollars. It's sad, but it's Sam okay. Lake, Remedy, Epic, the cast, and everyone involved to bring that performance be proud of ourselves. to life. Something you will only see right here we'll have to see. on the Game Awards. We'll have to see. Now it's time for an update on a game we announced back at TGA in 2017. shared the same story, the same fate. What? A family what? of what? strangers. A strange family. We have lived a thousand lives. We have died a thousand times. So here's my question. Whoever we were before this torture, we are now as one. Until the end. One final battle. The creative director of Toys for Bob wants a new Spyro. My friends. We want a new Spyro. And the creative director shows that 10 million, uh, 10 million sales shows that there is a, a want. So what's, the, so what's stopping? What's stopping? Joining me now is Ulf from 10 Chambers. Crazy, that was six years ago we announced uh, GTFO, and that's the final chapter. You've got a free weekend on Steam. Looks fantastic, but I think there's a little something more you're also working on, right? Yeah, first of all, I have to say thank you for, thank you for having me again. Of course. And uh, you delicious man, you. <laughs> this suit is fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you look good, too, Ulf. Yeah, Your yeah, games yeah. look great. So. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we're working on something new, yeah. and uh, it's like a passion project, like like all our projects are. And this you were one, known for payday things like that, so you're back yeah, back some heist I, stuff. I guess. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're back to doing a heist game again, and it's sort of a, a, a sci-fi thing that I've been dreaming up since I was a kid, basically. So okay. and yeah, it's you know. It we is what it is. To the world? Yes, we should. You've been working on this for a number of years. Yes. I'm so excited. It's finally yeah. time. Thank you. Check out the new game from Ulf and 10 Chambers. Here we go. So that's the question is what Mr. is Your what is the reason? Is in Cancel way. the reservation. Reset the procedure. Continued neural prodding may severely damage the suspect. Reset the procedure. Yes, standing by. Eject. <laughs> Your subconscious was just spilling the beans about your recent Akajima district break. Let's continue. Huh. What are you hoping to find in the Nexus Sentinels? You mother... There's no use in fighting. I will get what I want. Ah, so that's how you found out about our Akajima fault. What were you looking for? A key. A key to what? Yes! What's the key for? <laughs> it's not what, Mr. Bowman. It's who. You see, just like me, you caught here. You're caught in the den of wolves. Not apparently. Uh, 
back on the magic school bus. Me, 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 me. Good to go. Easy in, easy out. That's our ride. Yeah, if Crash Bandicoot 5 got announced, valid anger. Valid anger, I would say. Valid anger. If Crash Bandicoot 5 was announced, valid anger. I'd that be happy was Exo Born. I met with the team at Gamescom to take a look at that upcoming tactical open world extraction shooter. And the project is led by some of the creators of the division. And besides facing other players and warring factions, vertical gameplay, as you saw in the Forces of Nature, unlock the potential of the players' exo rigs to help master the apocalypse, as they say. Much more is coming in 2024 on Exo Born. Now, please welcome the voice of Loki in Asgard's Wrath 2, one of the most ambitious and anticipated VR games yet, Matt Mercer. Oh, Matt Mercer. Oh boy, they hey are really uh, messing up with the... I am so beyond excited to show you this trailer for our Asgard's Wrath 2. I've been working with the Sanzaru team and bringing Loki to life. It's just been absolutely amazing. And uh, after playing Asgard's Wrath 2 as a lifelong gamer, I'm honestly blown away. So uh, I'm honored to be a part of this franchise and want to thank everyone at Sanzaru Games, at Oculus Studios, and MetaQuest. So without further ado, let's enjoy the trailer for Asgard's Wrath 2. Yeah, the non, no, no promo at the Game Awards for Rumble makes very, very little sense to me. Especially since the, the gods game. take everything from mortals. Bleed these lands dry. As I very much don't understand. Thy spirits, their rightful passage. Turn worlds to ash. You allowed Loki to deceive you. Now his chaos reigns. <laughs> the universe demands a guardian. And with each possession... The, the, the rumble... I, I don't understand why rumble didn't get any promo. Even uh, the trailer that they dropped today on YouTube, I don't understand why they couldn't even pay for an ad for oh. it. Beautiful guardian, here to right your wrong. During the game awards, I don't understand why they didn't do it. Because in terms of marketing, it would make sense because then people are like, oh my gosh, I can go play Spyro now, I can go play Crash and Rumble now, yeah, that's cool. Um and they didn't do that. So I'm like, alright, that makes very little sense. So I am very much there is confused no about that. Gangkits 2.0, thank you so much. And my uh, birthday is coming up soon, and I really want you to say, do voice voice with Dr. saying, Happy birthday! What is it? Uh, Quasi Wolf? The happy birthday, Quasi Wolf. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your cake. <laughs> it has one person in it. <laughs> <laughs> Foolish more. Thanks for the five dollars. Oblivious to the chaos that awaits you just outside. I'll see you sooner than you think. <laughs> it's been an amazing year, not just for games, but for adaptations of the games we love. Right yeah, now, we have an exclusive look at the highly anticipated new series, Fallout. So, I actually have to do this. Oh. Hello there. Nah. Because I have to do this, unfortunately, because it it'll get copyrighted by um, it's gonna get copyright. I I can't because this is gonna get eat very. It's gonna get copyrighted, smashed, destroyed. I apologize if you wanted to see it. I'm sorry, but it, it, the music we can try to squeeze by. I I. I'm sorry that I will get nailed for this one. 100% I will get nailed for this. So I do apologize, but the 
Okay. From Fallout, please welcome be... Aaron Moses, Ellen oh. Purnell, and Whoa, Walter someone's Dallas. actually gonna suit. That is cool. What's up, y'all? Uh, I hope you don't mind. We brought a little extra security. Thank you for having us, and we are incredibly excited for you all to see Fallout on Prime this April. But our real honor tonight is that we're here to hand out the award for best adaptation. What? What? <laughs> oh, he says our bosses are here. But what? <laughs> Oh, there they are. Oh! <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, no, these are ours. Good catch, buddy. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, we should probably hurry this up. I don't think he can breathe in there. Yeah, how you doing, big man? Okay. All right. All right, okay, so this year, video games and film and television were bigger and better than ever before. Here are the nominees for Best Adaptation. Best Adaptation. You guys probably... Okay. The Vampire Messiah will come. I pray for you, Victor Belmont. All I ever wanted to do is be a racer. If you don't think there's hope for the world, why bother going on? Um, my heart oh, says Super this. Mario. My heart says Mario. My brain says uh, world Twisted Metal or uh, prob it's coming. probably going to be The Last of Us. My heart wow, says well, Mario. Uh, my brain game says goes to the Last of Us. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah. I know. I said my brain. My brain was Last of Us. My heart is Mario. Shock Pichu face. All right. Oh, uh, gosh. Okay, clock's ticking. Uh, shout out to my partner in crime, Craig Mason, who's watching up in Canada, getting ready for season two. Uh, huge thank out to our Night Dog family. This wouldn't exist without all your incredible hard work. Uh, big thanks to HBO and the support they've given us. And a lot, uh, big thanks to our Last of Us community. None of this exists without you. Thank you so much. And, uh, we also want to thank our partners at Sony Pictures. A uh, special shout out to Carter Swan and the whole PlayStation Productions team and everyone at PlayStation. Thanks so much. Thank you. Uh. All footage kept from Nintendo Switch. Oof. It looks cute. But I think this game was already announced. If I'm, am I wrong? <laughs> this game was already. This is a dizzy dreamlight valley now. Unless there's a giant, massive expansion. But I'm almost certain. It's not. Palia, bring it into the switch. You see, what I don't understand is why Rumble didn't put grab an ad spot here. Right? Like, why didn't they grab an ad spot? Because I know these are games that are already yet out, but grab an ad spot, right? Grab an ad spot. Don't just, you know. So I don't get it. When I was younger, struggling with who I was, so much what my place the was, I took a lot of that to anxiety and thank you. put it into thank you so much. making games. Again, thank you for the Game Awards. It's great. I mean, it's evolved over time, especially, especially as I've gotten into soon. AAA. Thank you, so much. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hindsight is a narrative exploration so game which spans the life of a woman named Mary. 
is taking a core of something that happened in my life, keeping that and fictionalizing the rest of it. Whenever someone tells me that they've cried from something that I've made, it's always when people cry is where I feel, yes, I want to keep doing that. I want to keep making people feel things. <laughs> I don't like to feel feelings! Unstoppable. Actually, if I remember correctly, Summer Game Fest and Gamecom were so far better than this. But yeah, no, again, I don't, I, I, I can't even comprehend why they need to grab an ad spot for Rumble. I don't, I don't understand why it doesn't add up to me. That right there was No Man's Sky, a game we announced 10 years ago with this guy right here, Sean Murray. Sean, uh, looks like the content keeps rolling in 2024, but what does the next decade look like for Hello Games? Well, to start with, uh, next year is gonna be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for 10 years now, and I still really love it, still really enjoy it, but what people don't know is that for the last five years, we've been working on something new. Okay. Um, another game. Yeah, something very different, something maybe more ambitious. Um, you know, for... Uh, Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> something more Tell ambitious than No Man's it, Sky, so. all right. Uh, well, for No Man's Sky, we generated a whole universe of kind of sparse, alien-looking planets. And that wasn't easy, you know, it was hard, but there is something that's much harder that we wanted to do. Uh, for our new game, we wanted to create an Earth, um, you know, something as varied, a planet that is as varied as a universe, something bigger than Earth, something with, you know, mountains, real mountains, not video game mountains, but mountains that are miles high, taller than Everest, that when you climb to the top of them and look out, you can see rivers and canyons and continents, you know, you can see oceans. So is this like an open world planet kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, the first real open world, right? Something without boundaries. Uh, and we're gonna let open. everyone play in it together. It's, you know, a place where people can live out their sort of yeah. adventures together. Well, we can't wait to uh, take a look at it. We, we have anything tonight or future? Or? <laughs> yeah, so, so we have a trailer oh. um, and, you know, it's quite a small team that's working on us. Yeah. There's about a dozen of us. We're actually, everyone's here. The, the, everyone from the team is here. Uh, we're, s uh, we're very excited <laughs> to share this. You and I have well, been talking about this one for years. Yeah, we're, we're Yeah, I remember No Man's nervous, Sky kind of you know, said the but, same thing. Uh, really but excited. Hopefully if, they maybe learn you know, their people lessons. people like it. Uh, this is a game I would like to still be updating 10 years from now. All right, so Game Awards 2033. <laughs> We'll be back, but no, uh, let's take a look. This is such an incredible project and I'm honored that we get to show it off. Should we, should we do it, Sean? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. All right, here we go. A multiplayer Earth. What?
giant hummingbird. Okay, but is there a store? Right? Like... Is that harsh to say? Like, is there a This feels more like a concept than an actual game, if that makes sense. But I'm getting the vibes of Cyberpunk all over again, where this feels like more of a concept than an actual... Light no fire. Remember, that comes from an independent team. Absolutely incredible. I've been waiting for years to show that to you. And uh, again, created by the team at Hello Games. So uh, very, very exciting. And I'm excited to uh, see games like that that show kind of the next decade of where games are going to, and hopefully TGA too. All right. Now join me in welcoming to the stage actor Simu Liu. Oh. Oh no, what'd you do to your foot, dude? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? My God, there's so many of you. You guys all look so, so beautiful. Um, all right, first off, I want to address the elephant in the room. Um, my foot's fine, you guys. I, I did tear my Achilles. Uh, I wasn't riding a dragon. I was playing pickup basketball in Miami. <laughs> I, wish, I wish there were a better story to this, you guys, but the story is this. Um, you know, as you age, as you get older, you know, particularly as you cross the 30 threshold, your body starts to break down, all right? Things start happening, um, unless you're Anthony Mackie, for whom I think the laws of aging don't apply. <laughs> um, guys, just, if you're not Anthony Mackie, learn to appreciate the importance of stretching, all right? It's very important. Um, just keeping it real at the Game Awards, all right? <laughs> now, I'm, I'm here to share something that I'm, I'm really, really excited about. I recently got a chance to team up with Frost Giant on their new real-time strategy game, Stormgate. Now, Ooh, RTS okay. is a genre that I was absolutely obsessed with as a kid. I love yep. building armies and obliterating my enemies in Age of Empires, Command and Conquer, and of course, my absolute all-time favorite game, StarCraft. Yes! Yes! Sorry. So happy you guys cheered for that. Um, now, if you've been destroyed by carriers and void rays on Bnet at any point yep. over the past 10 years, that was definitely your boy. Uh, <laughs> and that's why I am so excited for Stormgate. Look, it's a noob strat, I understand, all right? But I loved it. Look, that's why I love Stormgate. Boy it was made by a team of ex-StarCraft developers who are just as obsessed with RTS as I am. And in addition to competitive and co-op modes in the game, it's got an ongoing campaign that was written by Frost Giant with a little help from the legendary Chris Metzen. Yes! And so, yes, I brought a little bit of gameplay for y'all and the first reveal of a pretty badass new character who, uh, I may or may not have gotten to voice. Oh, cool. Let's have a look. Stormgate. I'm excited for this one. As a Warcraft 3 and Starcraft nerd, I enjoy I, I was very happy about this. What the hell was that? That's a good question. Cut the power. Now. It is too late, my friend. I don't think that's supposed to happen. What in God's name have we done? Yeah, I, I would like to ask the same question. What did you do? And why? Either way, you will 
world will fall. Well. That was me. Really? What? <laughs> See? Pretty good, right? <laughs> and, uh, and now it's time to hand out the next award. Here are the nominees for Best Action Adventure Game. Best, best Wait, Action we just Adventure this? Game. Best action? You're the killer. I don't want to be in the story. Just write me out of the story. It's my fault. This is something else. Miles, get it over him. We can fight this together. Your soul requires cleansing. How could you let the galaxy fall to this unworthy this machine of an empire? empire? Do not look away. Or Zelda. You witness a king's revival. Is your Spider-Man or Zelda? And the game award goes to... No surprise here. Legend of Zelda Tears of the King. There we go. It kind of sucks that Spider-Man is getting skunked, though. I have to admit, Spider-Man getting skunked kind of blows. But I am happy that I am happy that Zelda got the Game of the Year for Best Action Adventure. I am happy about that. Yeah, I'm so glad to be able to be here to accept this reward, this award on behalf of everyone who worked together to create this game. Everyone on the development team truly uh, uh, gave their all in, in making this game the best that it could be. プレイヤーの皆さんそれぞれのユニークなゲームプレイが皆さん独自の配慮のポイントになります。Everyone's unique approach to playing this game uh, can become their own personal story uh, as an adventure through the lands of Hyrule. And to all the players, you have my sincere thanks. Thank you so much. Cool. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Anuma. And I am happy now to announce winners in a few more categories at the Game Awards. Here are the nominees yeah, for Best just... RPG. Oh, yeah. Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, basic. Final yeah. Fantasy 16. Lies let's just of speed P, run this. Sea of Stars, and Starfield. Yeah, let's just speed and run this. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, that's all. That's uh, best RPG. Here are Not the a big deal. For best Sim Strategy Game Advanced Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. City Skylines 2, Company of Heroes 3, Fire Emblem Engage, and Pikmin 4. And the Game Award goes to Pikmin 4. Wow, that would have been really nice if the they could make a speech about that. Sports Racing Game, EA Sports FC 24, F1 23, Forza Motorsport, Hot Wheels Unleashed 2, Turbo Charge, and the Crew Motor Fest. And this year, the Game Award goes to Forza Motorsport. Congratulations, turn 10. The nominees for Best Multiplayer this year are Baldur's Gate 3, Diablo 4, Hardy Animals, Street Fighter 6, and Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Having a pretty good night. Here are the nominees for our Player's Voice Award, 100% voted by the fans. Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty, Genshin Impact, Marvel's Spider-Man 2, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Congratulations, Larian. Let's it's take a look now the year, at the spectacular celebration of mobile gaming on Sphere from Google and Samsung. How do you not win? Let me, how many, hold on. I, yeah, I expected a sweep too. But here's the thing. One, two, three. Four. Five. Yeah, 
how do you win five awards and not win game of the year? <laughs> Seriously. Huh. How do you win five game awards? Hey, what did I miss, you guys? I had to step away. Oh, you have to step away. Don't worry. You only missed the unimportant um, best action adventure, best RPG, best sim, best sports racing, best multiplayer, and player's voice awards. And they ripped through all of those except for the best action adventure. Best action adventure was was uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Then they're like, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna rip through um, best RPG. RPGs are such a RPGs only just a tiny little you know uh, category. Uh, the Baldur's Gate three best sim goes to Pikmin four. Best sports racing game goes to Forza. Best multiplayer game goes to Baldur's Gate three. And player's voice award goes to Baldur's Gate three. Small genre. Nothing big. That blows my mind. Nicotine addiction can make stress worse. Why are they? Uh. This turtle, my little turtle. Arc, okay, I. Welcome back to the Game Awards. We still got some awards to hand out. Timothy Chalamet will be here to help. And we have some more world premieres, including this one. This one's come to my attention, and I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. Some sort of crystal. Okay. Enlightened souls forged great and terrible it's weapons. The DLC the for Call Clans and from which I can derive their name. Online, I think. It seems somebody's woken this place up. Or DLC? The question is. No. What the hell is an iconoclastic defense system? I have a feeling we're about to find out. And that we will not like the answer. What's if you go to bed? I mean, we stream past short. 11 o'clock typically, so, you know, it's not, it's not too, uh. My friends, to Mercidia. Not available in other formats until... Wow, they got the exclusivity rights for that Experience for like a year. Experience new adventures before the final battle in Final Fantasy 16 with Echoes of the Fallen, which is out tonight on PlayStation 5. There's a shadow drop for you. Well, that's cool. Now to present our next award, Best Game Direction, please welcome one of our industry's greatest creative forces. No, the man. creator of Call of Duty and Global GM for Star Wars Jedi, Battlefield, Titanfall, and Apex Legends. Vince Sampella. No, wh 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 why are you, why are you giving him time? Speedrun it like all the other guys. 
like all the other awards. Best RPG? Niche. All right. Good evening, everyone. So game design can be chaos. Actually, let me rephrase that. The best game design is almost always part chaos, right? Uh, today, it's really normal for teams of hundreds yeah, to true, work for Caroline. years it, it, on huge here, open worlds be. that are condensed into we're one trying, package. We're just trying to have a good time When that together. chaos has somehow been harnessed into a cohesive artistic expression, that's great game design. So tonight, I'm proud to present the nominees for Best Game Direction. Best Game Direction. How do you run from a story that lives in your head? Probably Alan Wake. Together, we must survive. How do you win Almost best narrative and not win be best direction? How to help you. What a beautiful day! Link, you are our final hope. You must find me. Maybe Tears of the Kingdom. Amazing. And the winner is... Oh. Alan, Alan Wake, Wake 2. 2. Yeah, that's really what I just said. Thank you. Uh, we want to thank Epic, Hector, Nicole for believing in our vision. Uh, crazy vision. <laughs> crazy vision, yes. Direction is nothing without a team to actually build it. And, and huge thanks to Remedy team for <sighs> joining us on this venture, wanting to believe believing it and, and, and build it. Uh, you know, we can pull into different directions and, and nothing comes out of it. But when more than 100 people uh, believe in the same vision and, and build something out of it, we can make miracles. We can make art and we can be more than the sum of our parts. Uh, our world today could use a bit more of that. Uh, one other thing. Uh, crisp. Next Monday, December 11th, uh, New Game Plus, the final draft is going to be coming out. <laughs> new story content. Uh, so yeah, go play it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Game Awards. Please welcome Gustav Tillaby, the creative director of the final. The what now? When we started building this game, we set a bold vision for ourselves. We said that if we're going to make a shooter, it needs to be unique. It needs to be something that no one else is doing. Standing here today, I'm so proud and grateful for the amazing team at Embark Studios well. who helped make this crazy dream a reality. And of course, to all of you, our amazing players, watching you play the finals has been the most gratifying experience of my entire career. You're not just a part of this journey, you guide us and you inspire us, and I love you for that. Now, let's watch our latest trailer and keep your eyes peeled for the launch date at the very end. It might be sooner than you think. Thank you, sure. and enjoy.
After this, I'm not That's even That's right, going to be the finals is out media, tonight on Steam, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5. I think I'm literally After the show, just make sure to check to out the Game Awards in Fortnite phone. as well. All month, fans have been voting for their favorite user created island literally of the year, and the winner really is Twitter Fort is Poo. Congratulations. You can portal to the winning island from our TGA map, and while you're there, collect all the TGA trophies for an XP boost. We want to help you unlock those Peter Griffin skins. The island code <laughs> is below. Still to come, the presentation of Game of the Year featuring our, our orchestral salute to the nominees. See Baldur's Gate. You'll never want to leave. I, I want to. I want to. But I can't afford it right now. So eventually. you're hyped for in 2024. After the show, check out the TGA Post Show on Twitch where Google Play will reveal the winner of its Play More Award. Awesome, thanks Sydney. Well, now it's time for tonight's final world premiere. All right. That's right, we're getting towards the end of the show. And this one, I will let speak for itself. All right, final world premiere.
not the biggest fan of uh, Monster Hunter, so. Please welcome yeah. to the stage Monster For Hunter me. series producer, Ryozo Tujimoto. It's so great to have you here at the Game Awards. We got to hang out in Osaka earlier this fall where you showed me the gameplay. You gave me a demo of the game, and wow, I gotta tell you guys, it looks incredible. Everyone wants to know, we saw 2025. Uh, when do we get to play this? はい、えっと、ようやく発表することができました。え、モンスターハンターの新作です。え、こちらですね、え、と、9月に税主さんにも見ていただきましたタイトルなんですが、え、現状ですね、2025年リリースを目指して開発しています。Thank you, Jeff. I'm very happy to finally be able to announce this title to everyone. Uh, this title back in September, we were happy enough to show it to you as planned for release in 2025. Wow. <laughs> Fish uh, I think everyone wants to know when do they get to see more on this? Any sense of when we're going to see more on this game? はい、え、こちらのタイトルの続報はですね、え、2024年の夏頃、え、現状予定しておりますので、え、しばらくちょっとお待ちいただけたらと思っております。え、これからもですね、え、皆様に楽しんでいただけるいいゲームを作っていけるよう努力して、え、頑張ってまいりますので、え、これからも引き続きぜひよろしくお願いいたします。We plan on revealing more information about this game in uh the summer of 2024. So, we hope you keep an eye out for it. Also, Capcom is currently celebrating its 40th anniversary. I would like to thank all of the Capcom fans for all of your love and support throughout all of these years. We couldn't have done it without wow, you. Um, Capcom will continue to create exciting, fun games, uh, and the best is yet to come. Excellent. Thank you, Rio. Thank you. Great to see you. All right. Well, now to present Game of the Year from the upcoming films Wonka and Dune Part 2, please welcome YouTuber Modded Controller 360. What? What? The uh, imagination, passion, what? and technical brilliance of the six nominees for the Game of the Year were truly inspiring. Here with a medley celebrating what? each of these games, once again, Lauren Balfe and Why the Game Awards Orchestra. Why do you call him that? Isn't that Timothy Chalmeray? Or Timothy Chal... I am so confused why they called him, uh... Yeah, I didn't know he's easy a YouTuber. What? Yeah, I'm not even touching it. Not even touching it. Nope. If they turn around and say, don't don't worry guys, uh, uh, more Spyro, don't worry guys, I promise you Spyro is coming. I'm not going to find out until tomorrow because, uh... I'm not, I'm not even going to go on Twitter. Not touching that. I am not touching that. Guys, I, I just, I don't understand why saying Spyro's dead when he literally just got a dedicated season of Crash Team. I understand it's frustrating that Spyro 4 hasn't been announced, I get that, and I share your frustration. But sitting there and saying Spyro's dead after he literally was just given an entire season that's literally dedicated to Spyro. Three months of spiral content. Three months of spiral content in the crash game, and people are saying that spiral's dead. That's I don't. I think that's a a little bit of a gross over exaggeration.
I agree with you. There are things I disagree with. Absolutely frustrating. Totally, totally frustrating. The, don't, uh, don't blame you there. Don't, I do not blame you there. But where's Knack 3? <laughs> That's the real question, the owl. Where's Knack? Was Fruit Guy playing? Yes. Um, well, it, I, I think the obvious choice is either going to be Baldur's Gate 3 or Alan Wake. I mean... The, it, it's literally going to be based on that. Baldur's Gate 3 or Alan Wake 2. And the game of the year is... Baldur's Gate 3. Told ya. I told ya. I mean, the guy showed up in a full suit of armor. Get, like... I told you guys, I told you, I thought it was going to be Tears of the Kingdom. And then I said, and then I said, as soon as I heard Baldur's Gate 3, I was like, no, hold on a second. Hold on a second. And I said, uh, it, it's going to be Baldur's Gate 3. Bro showed up in armor, like, come on. Um, I didn't expect it anymore. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um... A game like Baldur's Gate 3 isn't possible if you don't have an incredible team working on it. And the team at Larian spent their hearts and souls for six years uh, on this game in sometimes very difficult circumstances. This was our COVID game. Um, <laughs> along the way, we, we lost quite a few people also. So we want to dedicate this uh, to all the people we lost, and especially uh, to Jim, our lead cinematic uh, artist uh, who passed away uh, in the uh, last month. Aww. Um, I want to thank over 2,000 people, so sit back and relax. Uh, but uh, I also uh, want to thank everybody that supported us throughout this entire uh, effort. Uh, our families, our friends, our partners. I thought uh, Timothy the was the Bill you. Clinton thank guy you very much. for a split thank second. You. For a split second. I thought Timothy was the, the Bill Clinton guy for a split second. But, uh... Congratulations, Sven, and congratulations to all of tonight's winners. We will see you next year at our 10th Anniversary Game Awards, which I'm happy to announce. We'll return right here to the Peacock Theater on Thursday, December 12th, 2024. Oh, Happy no. holidays. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's my wife's birthday. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, she's going to kill me. I'll make it up to her. Oh, goodness gravy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was the Game Awards. Um, uh, that That's literally my wife's birthday. Bang on the money. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, all right. So, let's talk. Let's talk for a moment here, ladies and gents. Let's... Let's quickly go over what was announced, and then let's talk a little bit. Let's, let's talk. Let's talk. We'll talk. We're going to talk. I have thoughts. I have thoughts. I have a lot of thoughts, actually. I have a lot of thoughts. Okay. So, here we go. It starts off with Baldur Gates winning uh, for best performance. Exodus is a brand new game. Uh, God of War DLC Valhalla will be for free. Uh, Big Walk, which is going to be a new game by the uh, Untitled Goose game. Hellblade 2, best narrative win by Alan Wake. Kimiri, No Rest for the Wicked, which is by the people that did Ori. Uh, best debut indie, Cocoon, which, you know, my disappointment is incom uh, incomprehensible. I, I have similar feelings. Thank you for the $2. 
Um, best thing at comebacks, they're put, they got a new Jet Set Radio in development. That's cool, along with Crazy Taxi. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, which is now called uh, Sparking Zero, A Dead by Daylight. Uh, I can't remember who the person was. Visions of Mana, Rise of Ronin, Best Action Goes to Armored Core. Then we just rip through Best Art, Best Action, Best Art, Best VR, and Best Mobile, which was... Uh, Armored Core, Alan Wake 2, Resident Evil Village, and Honkai Star Rail. Then OD, which is Hideo Kojima's title, which we spent 15 minutes talking about Hideo Kojima instead of the Game Awards for awards. You know, just a small nitpick. Jurassic Park Survival, Best Audio Design, Hi-Fi Rush. Let's keep going. Rocket Racing, Fortnite, Black Myth Wukong, uh, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, Warframe Update, Banishers, Ready or Not, Games for Impact, which is Tichia, Zhao, Lost Records, The First Berserker, the f orchestra came out for Final Fantasy VII to show off some new footage, Apex Legends is holding a Final Fantasy VII event, the best score goes to Final Fantasy XVI, the best indie goes to Sea of Stars, best community uh, thing goes to Baldur's Gate 3 because uh, I had to start writing fast here because they decided to speedrun the awards. Best fighting goes to Street Fighter, Street Fighter, Street Fighter Six, uh, most anticipated Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Genshin or Honkai Star Rail, Star Rail trailer. I had I couldn't even keep up with it. Blade developed by Bethesda and Arcane, which is cool. Uh, Twisted Metal is getting a season two. Best ongoing game Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. All right. Uh, Last Sentinel, the first Descendant, Zenless Zone Zero. Mecha Break, which apparently is not Gundam, which, I mean, if I was Gundam and this had no association with Gundam, I would sue. Helldivers 2, Warhammer Space Marine 2, GTFO, which we should have, uh, Den of Wolves, Asgard Wrath 2, Best Adaption, The Last of Us, everyone uh, goes on the million miles away, Palia, Light No Fire, then Stormgate, and then we decided to just, again, just speedrun the awards, because why would we want to hear about awards at the Game Awards? Let's just speedrun them. Best Action Adventure, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, good. Best RPG, Baldur's Gate 3, Best Sim, Pikmin 4, Best Sports Race, Forza, Best Multiplayer, Baldur's Gate 3, Best Player's Voice, Baldur's Gate 3. Final Fantasy 16 gets a DLC. Uh, best Direction goes to Alan Wake 2. Then we turn around, we see a trailer for the finals. The grand finale was the reveal of Monster Hunter Wilds, and Game of the Year goes to Baldur's Gate 2. Three. So if you had missed anything, there is the summary of the Game Awards. Uh, Lena donated $2. Put this towards some father's uh, birthday gift off. Well, thank you so much, Lena. I appreciate that. That's going to be on Tuesday. Jor-El Jordan donated $10. Most likely with this acquisition that happened two months ago, again, with the actor strike ending two days ago, is why Spiral Force development time was delayed. The actor industry just started back up last week. You know, I didn't even think about the acting strike in the acting industry and the possibility of the delays that that caused. Uh, because if that would have been the case, then uh, Tom Kenny wouldn't have been able to work on anything because he is most definitely part of the acting guild and the voice acting guild. So most definitely he would not have been able to work on the game if he was voicing the game at any means necessary. So I didn't even think about the fact about not just the acquisition, but also the acting strike was also definitely a factor so here are my thoughts uh game of the year baldur's gate 3 yes i agree i do agree that that was the game that probably should have won the reason why um the reason why um tears of the kingdom didn't win is in my opinion i believe it was the majora's mask of ocarina of time that's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing. Let me get this straight. That is not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. But the problem is, is that Tears of the Kingdom was like another take at Breath of the Wild. Now, again, Breath of the Wild was fantastic. But the reason why it probably didn't win as much awards, that's probably the reason. Additionally, uh, I do think that... Um, Additionally, I do think that, uh, what's it called? Um, Spider-Man did get robbed overall. Thank you so much for the $2. I was scammed. There was zero crash, even though they are PST. I'm not sure. Represent. I'm not sure what that means. Um, there was definitely some tiles I had an interest in. 
Um, but if I had to rate this Game Awards, uh, in terms of, in if I had to call it, I would call it uh, three words, or three Bs. Big, bland, and boring. Uh, I'm, I'm going to sound, people are, I'm going to get a lot of people mad, but here's, here is my honest opinion on this. Um, there were very few titles in terms of announcements that were, that would really carry the entire game awards. Um, there was, in my opinion, a very, a bit of a, a definitely, uh, not as exciting as I would have wanted. Uh, there were a lot of good, interesting games, um, there was a lot of interesting games, um, but when you have three hours of, huh, interesting, um, by the second, by the time you get to the second, huh, that's interesting, it's not quite as interesting as all the other stuff. Uh, also, I have a bone to pick, though, specifically with a couple of things. Um, my bone to pick is specifically with um, the actual... Um, game awards were quite literally just ripped through. They were just quickly ripped through. They quickly jumped through it, and I didn't like that. Now, some of the categories that are considered as smaller categories, sure, I understand, um, I understand some of the smaller awards. I can definitely understand doing the quick summary on those. However, um, giving no, giving people, um, just ripping through. And I definitely think that this is, um, this is something that really bothers me is the best art that bothered me. As soon as they said they skimmed through best art, I wanted to pause the whole stream and say, now, hold on a second. I had to hold myself back from going on a rant because when you when you just sit there and you just rip through best art, like as if it was just nothing, like, oh, it's just best art. All right, we'll just give that. Um, no, no, that's, that's, no, you don't do that for best art. Um I can understand best mobile. I can understand best VR. Those are, um, I can understand that, but skipping best action, best art. Um, some categories were very, very, um, very much ripped through that. I did not like. So overall, overall, this was, um, this definitely, and then there was a, a lot of, there wasn't anything particularly bad, but there was a lot of, as I, as I called it, big, bland, and boring. Uh, big, bland, and boring is a good summary, in my opinion, for, uh, what we saw, um, disappointing. Now there's a set. Now that's, and I'm not sitting here and saying this ah, because Crash and Sp like eh, you're saying that because Crash and Spiral wasn't here. No, I am separating that. I am separating that completely. Separating, um, separating that completely. I'm separating Crash and Spiral from this completely. If Crash and Spyro would have showed up to this showcase, I would have been hyped about Crash and Spyro and freaking out about that, and I would not have cared about anything else. I would have been happy about Crash and Spyro, and everything else would have just been... I wouldn't have remembered one title. Not one. I would have remembered Game of the Year. I would have remembered Tears of the Kingdom, and I would have remembered some of the other awards, but all the other trailers for most of the other games... I would not have remembered because my brain would have been overwhelmed with the serotonin of Crash or Spyro. So, with that said, with that said, um, 
there, but I do now let's inject crash and Spyro a little bit here. Am I shocked that Spyro is not there right now? No, I'm not shocked. I was not shocked. I did believe, and I said it on stream a lot that I definitely believed that this game awards was starting to get timed up very well. And it looked very interesting. However, then the acquisition started and then Joel Jordan brought up a very, very, very good point about the writer's strike and the, the animation strike and the voice acting strike. I didn't even account for that. And yeah, that is going to throw wrenches upon wrenches upon wrenches into the gears. And that sucked. That totally sucks. And I completely and totally understand um, why there was a lot of problems. There was a lot of issues. And leading up to it, I was not feeling it. It was not feeling it. I was not feeling it about two weeks ago. I wasn't feeling it about two two weeks ago. I w I started. I was like, I'm not feeling it, Mister Krabs. I'm not feeling it. And then I especially felt it at the start of this week. So you know what? That's the thing. That's that's the thing is I I was starting to really not feel it. I was like, yeah, I'm not feeling it. However, however, that doesn't mean that there is not something that I'm not happy about because there is something that I'm not happy about why in the world, why on this green earth would they not throw that ad for season three of rumble into the show somewhere? Just throw the ad in there, throw the ad in there. I'm not saying add something new. I'm not saying do something exclusive for the game awards. I'm not saying do an announcement at the game awards. I'm not even saying, I'm saying buy an ad spot in ad spot because you could be around and, hey guess what got released today spyro the dragon whoa and the surge of people that would pop in because it's like wow crash team rumble this game is still going oh look spyro's here now okay you know what let me go check that game out no 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 ad buys that is a very 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 poor decision on whoever decided that, whoever decided to completely and totally skip the Game Awards this year, I don't know who called it. Was it Toys for Bob? I don't know. Was it Activision? I don't know. Was it Xbox? I don't know. Whoever made that decision, though, in my opinion, did something stupid. It was stupid. It didn't make sense. And I can almost promise you the amount of money that would have been made from that ad spot would have been worth it for the people that would buy the game. Not just because Spyro is in there, but people are reminded about the game. The game is out. They see Crash Bandicoot. That's super cool. Hey, look, there's Spyro. Hey, look, there's Alora. There's all these really cool stuff. You know what? I'm going to go get that. I do not understand why they would not do it. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't agree with it. And I loathe the decision. I loathe the decision. And anybody who is watching, I would say that it was a poor marketing move. Unless there was some external thing that was to say, no, don't do it or something else. But it, to my mind, I don't understand where and why they wouldn't do it. I truly believe that this was a very poor mistake. This was a, a, a miss, a big whiff. And you know me, I'm typically Mr. Positive. I'm, I'm the one that people complain that is too positive about stuff. I'm Mr. Positive. I'm the guy that, whenever, uh, that when a lot of people are down and out, I'm still positive. And here I, I am standing and saying, hey, that was not a good marketing move. There should have been an ad play, just an ad buy. You don't need a reveal. You don't need any of that. Just an ad buy. Because guess what? It came out today. There were ad buys for games that aren't even out yet. That are coming out in a year or a month or in two weeks. Guess what? It came out today. Today. What a perfect, perfect, perfect setup. And yet it was missed. So unless there's something that I'm missing.
unless there is something that I am missing. Unless there's something that I'm missing, it was a poor decision. Because of the acquisition that everyone in their studios were focusing on re relocating to Microsoft. Okay, maybe it was, but at the end of the day, still, um, is an ad buy really that hard to plan for? Would it really be that hard to plan for? We knew three weeks ahead of time that it was coming out. Remember, they announced that Spyro and Friends was coming, or the uh, All Fired Up was coming three weeks before the Game Awards. In fact, Game Awards retweeted the post. And yet, and yet, they did not spend the money to be able to put an ad. So... So overall, um, I'm a little bit, um, and there was, there's one more thing. There's one more thing I'm going to say, and this is just me talking. This is just, uh, uh, this is just me talking. Um, th this is just. This is just me talking. There's something else going on in the game industry as a whole right now. Right now in the game industry directly. This isn't a distant problem in the world. This isn't a stretch of a problem in the world. There is something going on in the game industry right now. I'm not saying it's the most important issue in the world right now. No, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that it is an issue that is close to home and the fact that nothing was talked about it not even an ad not even a coverage about it drives me nuts and that is the fact that there have been numerous dozens hundreds thousands of layoffs in the gaming industry right now there are companies that are quite literally sinking okay people that are losing their livelihoods losing their jobs every day every week we sign on to social media and we're hearing about another hundred people laid off we're finding out about all of these people being laid off laid off laid off laid off and what if i were to have ran the show i would have done a segment where you quite literally mention that and say hey there is a lot of problems going on right now so what we're doing is that we made this website that is resources for anybody who wants to get a job who lost a job for them to go there and apply go to this hyperlink here to go and try to find a, and build a game today and go and find a studio even so that anybody who was who is in need of finding a brand new game or a brand new studio to be hired at at least a resource a resource for somebody to be able who might be sad and depressed and then guess what it's like hey here's a resource of gain of a whole bunch of ads a whole bunch of bulletins a whole bunch of jobs that you could go for and then people be like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go take a look. And, but it wasn't spoken about. It was not spoken about. There was no talking of, no talking, no speaking, no, um, no mention of it. Epic recently laid off like 900 people. And I have friends that I speak to and viewers that I speak to who have been laid off recently. Like, like, like this is hitting a lot of people. This is affecting a lot of people and giving anybody even a little granule of hope would have been nice. And it just feels like it was a little bit tone deaf in my opinion. That's just me.
that's just my opinion. I think that they should have mentioned something about the layoffs. I think they should have said, hey, listen. Uh, and don't even get me started about Cyberpunk either. Cyberpunk makes me mad because the amount of stories, if you want to go into a time machine and go back in time and look at some of the atrocities that were said about Cyberpunk and just some of the stuff, I just... Anyway, point is, um, not a big fan of the Game Awards this year. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. There were some titles in there that are definitely interesting and some titles that I'm definitely going to probably eventually pick up or at least look into. But overall, um, three Bs. Big, bland, and boring, in my opinion. You may disagree with me. That's fine. Absolutely disagree with me. That's okay. I understand if you disagree with me, you don't have to agree with me, but overall, big, bland, boring. That's me. And yeah, that's just me. So big, bland, boring. It was, as I said, I am happy about that. That's where they get, that is where they get a benefit. Although that one game was really bad for me. I am happy that it wasn't full of shooters. I am happy about that. It was not full of shooters. I'm happy that. It was not, uh, there were a lot of bright and colorful games and that's where I was happy. That's where I was like, okay, I can get with this. I understand this. This is good. I enjoy this. I can get with that. And I'm, that is an improvement. Um, but when Jeff Keighley said, yeah, we've definitely, um, when, you know, we've definitely layered the news out. What news? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. So, but anyways, um, we're not going to do a Q and R tonight. Uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be heading off. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow though with rumble on my Xbox because apparently, uh, my PlayStation won't let me get on to, uh, let me, won't let me sign on to rumble. So, uh, I'm going, uh, I'm going to hop off. Thank you all so much for watching tonight uh today was definitely a big day tomorrow we're going to be back with more uh crash team rumble um and we're going to be playing more spyro tomorrow and yeah that's about it so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video and our live stream time for the countdown 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 Three, two, one. Bye.